After the black energy was driven away, it did not leave. Instead, it slowly circled around him a few times. The black energy on his leg continued to coil upwards. The black dragon released a huge amount of spiritual energy. In the beginning, the black dragon was still able to expel the black power from its body. However, as it progressed, the power seemed to have become more condensed. The deeper the black dragon walked, the heavier he felt his body became. He slowly realized that his movements were slowing down, as if he had fallen into a swamp. This is bad. He seemed to have realized that something was wrong with his situation and immediately turned around to retreat. However, a one-meter-tall child had appeared behind him. The little guy stood in the middle of the passageway and yawned as he looked at the black dragon avatar that wanted to retreat. Brat, what do you want to do? The little guy's pair of chubby hands drew a circle in the air, and a black ring appeared in front of him. Since you're already here, don't even think about leaving. Who do you think you are? This king can easily break the array formation of the two of you, yet you still dare to clamor here. Is that so? As soon as Xiao Buddy and finished speaking, he suddenly clenched his small hands. The black dragon felt the air around him suddenly tighten as a huge ring wrapped around his body. He took out a long black whip and smashed it at the surrounding walls, wanting to shatter the entire space. However, all of his strength could not be used in the black fog in front of him. It was as if someone had put heavy shackles on him, and he could not move. The black dragon had just lashed out with its long whip when it was stuck in the mud like a loach. It twisted its body and finally froze on the spot. The little guy stretched out his hands, and another enormous ring suddenly appeared. Seeing that the situation was not good, the black dragon suddenly threw the weapon in its hand away. It put its hands together in front of its chest and wanted to use the escape technique. However, the little guy would not give the Grand Lord any chance to escape. Where are you going? A powerful restriction appeared out of thin air. By the time the black dragon realized this, it was already too late. The black rope wrapped around each other like a big bell, firmly covering it. In the next second, a black square platform suddenly appeared. It only stopped on the black dragon's head for a moment, then disappeared into the darkness. At this moment, the same situation was happening in the other directions. Every time they wanted to retreat, they realized that something was wrong. They had fallen into the enemy's trap step by step. It was already too late to retreat. A thousand miles away, the black dragon frowned. He didn't expect to fall into the trap of this human. Even now, he was already in such a sorry state without even sensing the attack of a human mighty figure. What is it? The black dragon realized that the situation was not right. When the first clone was captured, he immediately thought of a way to escape the other clones. However, he had truly underestimated the array formation that Li Yuanqing had set up. At this moment, Li Yuanqing's spell formation truly displayed its power. Coupled with Li Yuanqing's powerful strength, the wood spirit doppelganger, which had previously committed crimes, was now unable to gain the upper hand in front of Li Yuanqing. The other three clones also fell into Li Yuanqing's grasp one after another. They were slowly worn down until they finally fell into the altar and were captured. The white-browed Taoist watched all of this with his eyes wide open, and his evaluation of this young man in front of him became even higher. He had thought that this fellow had relied on his senior's methods to gain a foothold here. He didn't expect this kid to have some skills. This array formation was beyond his expectations. It was simply superb. Li Yuanqing only used the time for an incense stick to burn. With Xiao Budian's help, he easily collected these four avatars into the sacrificial altar. The white-browed Taoist didn't dare to underestimate him anymore. Regardless of whether he had such a powerful figure backing him up, this kid was still a terrifying opponent. I've already done what one promised you. The white-browed Taoist nodded slightly and smiled. Didn't expect you to be so powerful. I underestimated you before. Senior, you flatter me. Compared to you people from the immortal world, I'm afraid I'm still very inferior. Kid, why do you say that? You clearly have the aura of the human race on you. You're from the immortal world. These words stun Li Yuanqing. He had never been to the immortal world since he was young. Why did he become a person of the immortal world again? I don't quite understand what you're talking about, 
but that's not important. Now that I have saved you, please leave as soon as possible. I don't want to see you in the demon world again. The white-browed Taoist heaved a sigh of relief and leaned against the cloud behind him. Brat, one owe you a favor. I definitely won't go back on my word. However, you're really quite strange. Could it be that you grew up in the lower realm and never returned to the immortal world? Speaking of which, in my memory, I really don't have any impression of the immortal world. Then do you know if there is such a person? He has always been by your side and is especially powerful. That day when the two of us fought, it was he who took away my puppet. Li Yuanqing's expression changed. After a moment of stiffness, he slowly nodded. That day, a strange old man appeared. I didn't know what he was doing at first. So it was him who saved me? The white-browed Taoist looked at Li Yuanqing doubtfully. He felt that this kid was lying. Was there never such a guardian? Since he was from the immortal world, his puppet would not be able to hurt these humans at all. It was not impossible for him to be alone. So, my puppet must have left with him. Li Yuanqing scratched his head in confusion and pretended as if nothing had happened. That day, one fell into a coma. I don't remember what happened after that. I'm afraid I'll have to disappoint you. White Brow shook his head and threw away those crooked thoughts. Although number 36 was his proudest work and was of great importance to him, he did not have the capital to take such a risk to test it. Forget it. Forget it. Just treat it as a gift from the two of us. You've helped me so much this time. So I'll give you this complete collection of mechanisms of the immortal world's human race according to our agreement. There are all kinds of mechanisms for refining puppet techniques. As long as you comprehend them, you can become a master of puppet techniques in the future. The white-browed Taoist took out the book and gave him a large black wooden box. The entire box was very thick. As soon as Li Yuanqing got his hand, he immediately flipped open the book and read it greedily. However, there were many blank pages. White Brow had some doubts at first, but now he really believed that Li Yuanqing had never been to the immortal world. He didn't even know how to read the Tomes of Arcane. Kid, this heavenly book contains the secrets of the heavens. It can't be used like this. You need to pay attention to your body and mind in order to receive the guidance of the heavenly book. I understand. Li Yuanqing tried his best to act as if he had a background. He opened the solid wood box and saw a pile of small spherical wooden blocks. These egg-sized wooden balls were the low-level puppets made by the white-browed Taoist himself. Although they were only at the beginner level, they were very large in number and possessed a certain level of intelligence. It was more than enough as a beginner's toy. All right, since our deal is complete, our friendship ends here. I won't care about what you did to the human race in the past. Don't worry. When I'm more or less healed, I'll leave on my own and won't trouble you. I hope you can keep your promise and not go back on your word. That's right. Seeing that you've helped me so much this time, one can tell you a secret. What secret? The secret of the black dragon. In the northernmost land, a strong wind swept across the land mercilessly, bringing with it large snowflakes that were as big as goose feathers, stirring up small whirlwinds one after another. The snowflakes were like sharp blades, and when they cut through the air, they would make a buzzing sound. Behind a reverse slope, a small blood-red sprout stuck its head out and carefully peeped at this world of ice and snow. Is this Thule? Li Yuanqing observed for a while before withdrawing his gaze. He let the blood vine seed continue to lurk underground and silently advance north. The white-browed Taoist had already left. Li Yuanqing didn't care where he went to hide. Since that fellow had promised not to harm the people of the demon realm, Li Yuanqing felt that there was no need to continue being enemies with him. Ever since the black dragon lost those four avatars, he didn't dare to act rashly. It was unknown whether he had returned to the immortal world. The secret that White Brow told Li Yuanqing, the secret about the Black Dragon, was hidden in Thule. According to Taoist White Eyebrow, if the spirit stones of the lower realm wanted to be transported to the immortal world and could be used normally, they needed to be processed through special methods. This was a very complicated process. The original spirit stones had to go through a very strong pressure to be forged into a liquid state. Then, the spiritual energy of the immortal world was mixed into it and mixed together. After that, they were produced into new spirit stones that could be transported to the immortal world. 
The Black Dragon had built a massive forging factory in the North Pole. Over the years, the spirit stones that the Black Dragon had plundered in the Demon Realm were basically forged into new spirit stones in that factory. Then, they were transported to the Immortal World and became his personal property. Although the speed of mining spiritual power had been much slower than before, the Black Dragon was too eager for quick success and wanted to increase his strength too quickly. As a result, he had consumed too many spirit stones and did not have enough spiritual power from the immortal world to use as raw materials. As a result, many spirit stones could not be forged and were piled up in the factory. According to White Brow's calculations, if all of them were exchanged for middle-grade spirit stones, there would be hundreds of thousands of them. This was a very large number. Master, if what White Brow said is correct, there are not many people stationed there. We only need to send two elite special forces over, and we should be able to take them down. Hu Jujio's heart ached for Li Yuanqing. He had been so busy recently that he did not even have a good rest during such a big event. Li Yuanqing was very curious about their transformation mode. His understanding of the lower realm was still too little. Perhaps this was a very good step. It's fine. You can start now and pick out an advanced team. There must be professionals who are proficient in engineering and have sufficient guarantees. 1 foot 11 inches, check out the place first. Your people will arrive later. We're going to take over that factory and not just get the spirit stones. Master, do you mean that we need that set of procedures to convert the spirit stones of the lower realm into spirit stones of the immortal world? No matter what, we have to figure out everything about the immortal world so that we can be prepared before the next invasion of the immortal world. Master is right. The people in Ping City were immersed in the celebration of the festival. They did not realize that an earth-shattering battle had broken out in the transparent sky above their heads. Many people came down from the amusement park in the sky excitedly and discussed the exciting scenes in the amusement park with relish. Many of them had even shared a room with the Black Dragon before, but they were completely unaware of it. However, after this celebration, there were two little fellows who had no choice but to face something more realistic. Yang Tianqi stood nervously in the lobby and turned to look at Xiao Qian. Lu Wen stood on the other side without a care, deliberately keeping a distance from the two of them. Many white fox clansmen stood guard at the side, glaring at Yang Tianqi. They had been kind enough to keep Yang Tianqi and groom him to be the next clan leader, which meant that they wanted to pour in the blood and sweat of the entire clan. However, he didn't expect that these two brats wouldn't agree to it, and even secretly left the family with the young miss. Many of their clansmen found it very unbearable. During the period of time they were away, they had almost forgotten about this matter. However, during the grand meeting in Ping City, the few of them had even locked up the demons who had gone to wait on the mountain for an entire day. Chase the two of them out. Since we can't touch them, let them never step into our family. If you want to blame someone, you can only blame the changes in the world. Ping City is no longer the world of the demons. It has fallen into the hands of the humans. It's already good enough for us demons to be able to live with our tails between our legs. Ha ha ha, that's right. If it was a few years ago, how could such a situation have happened? Why would they have to bow down and beg some humans? Many people in the Demon Fox Clan began to miss the beautiful past. When they thought of the time when they were old masters, they felt as if they had regained some glory. Although he was not so miserable as to become a slave, his status was definitely not as good as before. Of course, there were still some who were slightly calmer. When they heard them talk about such a sensitive topic, they felt that it was a little inappropriate and carefully reminded them. I don't have to say that. Although we have some small problems now, we still maintain a very close relationship with the human race. One think you guys are too aggressive. You're right. The human tribe has treated us well. To be honest, if the human tribe treated us like this, we wouldn't be qualified to sit here and chat leisurely. The monster race was divided into two factions. Although the people were still living in Ping Chung, the environment in the wilderness was harsh and the spiritual power was too thin. Life in this human city was indeed much more comfortable. However, it was inevitable to suffer some anger. Just as the two sides were arguing, the sound of a walking stick hitting the wooden floor was suddenly heard. As soon as this sound came out, everyone stopped talking. They silently looked in the direction of the small door behind them. 
A hunchbacked old woman walked out from the back door. This person was Granny. This was the true ruler of the Demon Fox Clan. It had only been a few short months, but he seemed to have aged many years. Now, he looked old and senile. When Hu Qian saw her mother-in-law, she couldn't help but cry. Granny! Hu Qian threw herself into her mother-in-law's arms. The old lady opened her arms and smiled as she pulled her granddaughter into her embrace. It's good that Xiao Qian knows to come back. It's good that she's home. Granny Xiao Qian knows her mistake. Xiao Qian won't go anywhere and will stay at home to accompany Granny. Granny happily stroked Xiao Qian's head and brought her to the main seat. In the half a year that you were gone, Granny had been thinking about you every day and asked them to bring you back. However, one didn't expect that you would become so powerful after learning in that academy. Even Seventh Uncle couldn't deal with you. Xiao Qian wiped her tears and turned to look at Yang Tianqi. Granny, they were the ones who set up that formation. It has nothing to do with me. Is that so? The granny turned to look at Yang Tianqi and Lu Wan who were standing below. The two of them also cupped their hands respectfully at the old lady. Senior. The old woman opened her dry mouth and said to the two of them in a hoarse voice, Xiao Qian has been with you for so long. Is she still an outsider in your hearts? Senior, why do you say that? The two of us have always treated Xiao Qian as our family and have never treated him as an outsider. Then why does this formation have nothing to do with Xiao Qian? Senior, it's just that the senior who taught us formations isn't familiar with Xiao Qian, so he only taught us. After we learn it, we'll naturally give it to Xiao Qian. That's right. Senior, don't worry. Although we don't have much on us, we will share whatever we have with Xiao Qian. The old lady nodded with a smile and waved her hand. Forget it. The things of your human race are too noble. I'm afraid we demons won't be able to enjoy them. You can leave. I won't stop you anymore. Senior. Yang Tianqi kneeled on the ground with a thud. I'm willing to accept my punishment. One shouldn't have taken Xiao Qian out on my own. One also didn't take good care of Xiao Qian. I hope Senior can leave. Granny. One wanted to go out myself. It has nothing to do with the two of them. If you want to punish me, punish me. The old lady looked at Xiao Qian with pity and said, My silly child, how could mother-in-law have the heart to punish you? You've gone out for a while, so you should have learned a lot of skills now. From now on, mother-in-law can entrust the family to you with more confidence. You're still in the mother-in-law's family. I'm still too young. Granny, you're already old and weak. It's time for you to give up your position to someone else. You're the only hope of our demon fox clan. I hope that you can lead our clan to gain a foothold in Ping City and take root. When the old woman said this, her face was full of fatigue. The death of her son had already pained the old lady. Coupled with the suffering she had gone through in the past six months, the problem of her age became even more obvious. This old man had yet to step into the spiritualization realm at this point. He probably did not have much time left in his life. Granny, one won't allow you to say that. Hu Qin lay in the old man's arms, tears streaming down her face again. Yang Tianqi was still kneeling on the ground, looking at the grandfather and grandson with a conflicted expression. He had come here today to plead guilty, but they did not give him the chance. They had no intention of punishing him at all, making him feel at a loss. Lu Wen quietly moved to his side bent down and said to him, What are you still doing here? They chased you away. No, I can't just leave like this. No way, big brother. You can't really be thinking of being a lord here, right? If you had such thoughts, you should have said so earlier. I didn't think that way. It's just that if I leave now, what will happen to Xiao Qian? I don't need you to care about me. Young Master Yang, please leave immediately. One will never see you again. Xiao Qin's face was covered in tears as she looked at Yang Tianqi and the other man with determination. Did you see that? She had already left in a hurry, yet she was still sticking to her cold butt. Xiao Qin? Yang Tianqi looked at Xiao Qin guiltily. Master is indebted to me for the act of regeneration. I can't let Master down. Granny has already made it very clear. Our clan no longer needs you to stay here. You can follow anyone you want. Your master is very powerful and can do many things that we can't. What about you? When are you going back to the academy? 
The old lady pressed on Xiao Qin's shoulder and said to them, Xiao Qin is staying at home to take over the clan's affairs. She won't be returning to the academy. At this moment, a man's voice suddenly came from outside the house. This man's voice was very clear, and he didn't sound particularly old. Why don't you give me some face and let this little kid go to the academy for a few more years? Who is it? Why didn't he show himself? What kind of hero are you? As soon as they finished speaking, an intense light suddenly lit up outside the door. The light was so dazzling that people could not open their eyes. When they opened their eyes, they saw a pile of boxes in the hall. Most of these boxes were inlaid with gemstones and other decorations. If these boxes were sold alone, they could be sold for a lot of money. The Demon Fox Clan had never seen so many treasures before. They were dumbfounded as they looked at the pile of treasures that suddenly appeared in the living room. They were at a loss. Behind the pile of treasure chests, an elegant young man slowly walked out. This person had delicate features and delicate features. His eyebrows were very tender and he looked young. Sorry, I'm late. Li Yuanqing stood in the middle of the living room and cupped his hands as he apologized to the surrounding white fox clansmen. These demons had never seen Li Yuanqing before. Looking at how young this kid was, they thought that he was just a child who was reporting in front. As expected, who Juju slowly followed behind Li Yunqing. This was the city lord, a famous big shot in Ping City. Welcome, city lord. I didn't know that city lord would come and didn't welcome you. Please forgive me, city lord. When the White Fox tribe members saw Hu Jujiu, they hurriedly came forward to welcome him. They gathered in a row in front of Hu Jujiu and slowly bowed their bodies. The welcome formation was very large. However, under everyone's gaze, Hu Juju actually walked behind Li Yuanqing and called out slowly, Master! The Demon Fox clan members were all stunned. They looked at Hu Juju calmly. He was the most powerful person in Pingcheng. Had Hu Juju gone mad? Why would he call a human master and an unknown kid at that? Unlike the others, Xiao Qian walked up to Li Yuanqing and greeted him before anyone could react. Master! Xiao Qian didn't know how to address him. So Li Yuanqing followed the two of them. Li Yunqing still liked this little girl from the Demon Fox Clan very much. Although her talent was a little lacking, she was smart and had a bright future. Why didn't she just say hello to me and leave? Li Yuanqing caressed Hu Qian's head affectionately like an elder. Hu Qian mumbled softly, I've been away from home for half a year. I was a little worried about my mother-in-law's health, so I came back in a hurry. One didn't say goodbye to master. Please don't blame me. Silly child, why would one blame you? Only then did the old granny recover from her shock. She looked at Hu Jujia with a puzzled expression and asked, City Lord, may first know who this person in front of you is? Hu Jujia covered his mouth and laughed softly. He replied, He's the master of Yang Tianqi and the other two. He's also your in law. But just now, the City Lord actually called him master. Isn't that a little inappropriate? There's nothing wrong with that. Without Master, one wouldn't be where I am today. Master has never liked to show his face in front of the world. This time, he came to your family especially for that little guy's matter. What? This man is actually so powerful? Who exactly is he? Just how many powerful figures were there in the human race? Why were there so many of them that he had never heard of before? The old granny took a long time to finally accept this setting, but to be honest, it was still very shocking. The city lord they were so proud of actually had a human master standing behind him, who Jujo had always been the pride of the demon race. Although most of Ping City was now occupied by humans, the demon race still had some face because of Hu Jujo's existence. However, they did not expect that the most powerful demon in Ping City, whom they had relied on, was actually supported by the human race. This old servant greets senior. The old granny bowed respectfully to Li Yuanqing. The old lady knew the rules. Since a man could make Hu Juju lower his head, he must not be underestimated. Although she could speak to Hu Jujio as if they were on equal footing, it was only because Hu Jujio was respectful to him, a senior of the demon race. When they encountered such a truly powerful person, they had to lower their heads when they should. Li Yuanqing hurriedly went forward and helped the old man up. Elder, please don't be like this. One came here today as your in-law to have a chat with you. 
I've heard about your relationship and I understand that your clan has such a rule. I saw that the little ones seem to have developed feelings for each other. If such a good thing was missed because of me, then one would still feel a lot of guilt in my heart. Senior, you're too kind. This era has long changed and we shouldn't stick to such stubborn rules. Elder, please don't call me that anymore. If you don't mind, you can call me Little Li. Li Yuanqing said helplessly. This old servant would never dare to act so rashly. Old man, don't bother with the formalities. Otherwise, one foot eleven inches feel bad. Then this old servant will be bold enough to call Senior Little Li. That's good. This old fox demon would never have thought that he would have the chance to call a ninth level array formation realm cultivator, who was about to touch the threshold of the supreme realm, Little Li. Xiao Li, tell me how to resolve this matter. This old servant will listen to your arrangements. Li Yuanqing helped the old man back to his seat. The others also sat down. They even specially arranged a chair for Hu Jujio. Originally, the old lady wanted to give her seat to Hu Jujio or Li Yuanqing, but the two of them refused. They sat beside the old lady, with Hu Qian, Yang Tianqi, and Lu Wen standing behind them. The reason why Li Yuanqing had made this trip was naturally because his little disciple had fallen in love and could not extricate himself. On the other hand, many demons felt that there was a deep estrangement between humans and demons. They thought that the academy was run by humans and that demons would be bullied if they entered. Therefore, many demons were still very stubborn. They sealed off their own families and did not have contact with the outside world. The academies outside were already in full swing and the progress of their human feet was advancing by leaps and bounds. However, they were still guarding their own small place. This would cause the gap between humans and demons to widen, and it would immediately become very, very unbalanced. If this continued, he would probably become a demon in the end and be completely reduced to the edge. In the end, he might even be chased into the wilderness. This was not something Li Yuanqing wanted to see. Li Yuanqing thought that in this world, it would be better for them to develop together. With such an opponent, they could increase their strength faster. If it was only the human race, such a growth rate would not last long. She came here today to personally stand up for the academy and wanted to rope these demons into the academy. I see that there are many talents in the academy, including humans and demons. It was a place of great creativity. Many cultivation techniques were provided to such a good platform for free. If the younger generation was not allowed to go, it would be a waste. Li Yuanqing went straight to the point. The granny still had a smile on her face, but she said with some doubt, Little Li is right. That academy is indeed a good place to go. One saw that after Xiao Qin went there for half a year, she came back with a lot of changes. However, I feel that this half a year is enough. Hu Qin's face was originally filled with eagerness, but when she heard what her mother-in-law said, her expression dimmed again. Li Yuanqing took in the change and smiled. He looked at the old lady and said, Elder, do you think that our academy has done something wrong? Little Li, you misunderstood. One didn't mean that. I just said that I'm afraid this academy is more suitable for humans. We demons have our own cultivation techniques, so there should be no need to get involved. The old man still doesn't trust our academy. How could that be? Seeing that the topic was still stuck, Li Yuanqing coughed lightly. Hu Juju immediately continued. I know what everyone's concerns are. Everyone has heard a lot of rumors and has a lot of worries. However, one can assure everyone here that if anything unfair happens in the academy, it will be dealt with, regardless of whether it's the human or the demon race. Hu Juju had been saying this since the first day of the academy's opening. There was probably a limit to how many people below would believe him. City Lord, it's not that we don't believe you. It's just that ever since the academy was established, there has been a lot of news about the academy. We've heard that a junior of the Ash Wolf race was skinned alive by a human kid in the academy. That's right. There's also the Black Bear tribe. Their master was cruelly beheaded by someone, and his palm was used to make delicious food for humans to enjoy. The people below spoke more and more. The news they heard became more and more ridiculous. Li Yuanqing had already expected this. He threw out a round ball. The little ball landed on the ground and jumped twice. The more it jumped, the higher it became. In a short while, it became a small person. 
It rolled on the ground and stood up. It was actually a wooden doll. After the wooden puppet came out, it stared at a member of the demon race beside it with red eyes. He had snatched this fellow from White Brow. Although it was only a low-level experimental subject, it still had the strength of the spirit transformation realm. To these demons, it was already a heaven-shattering combat strength. In their entire clan, there was only one spiritualization realm expert, and now he was dead. The monster race member who was targeted turned pale with fright and wanted to escape. However, under the powerful pressure, he could not escape no matter what. What are you doing? Help. For a moment, the entire scene was in chaos. However, just as the puppet was about to succeed, he was suddenly frozen in midair and could not move. A strange power came from the ground and turned into a rune chain, binding it tightly. The situation was brought under control in an instant, and the chaos at the scene temporarily settled down. The demons looked at the scene in front of them in bewilderment. They did not know what was going on. Hujujo explained, Our city protecting array has been specially modified in the academy. Therefore, the best array masters in Ping City started to make it. As long as there was violence anywhere, it would be stopped before it happened. Hujuju even walked to the puppet and measured the distance between them. As long as hostility erupts between two people and the distance between them is less than a foot in a very short period of time, they will be stopped by the formation. In the future, this array would also extend to the entire city. It was just that it was only present in the small area of the academy. In other words, if someone wants to make a move, they will immediately be bound by this thing. That's right. This protection array can effectively protect the weak from being bullied by the strong. Therefore, it's impossible for any students to be attacked or brutally killed in the academy. I see. The people of the White Fox Clan looked at the puppet in realization. They and the bold ones came up to the puppet and reached out to touch the runic chains beside it. No matter what kind of power they used to attack the rune chain, the chain was very tough and did not show any signs of loosening. They also tried to attack the puppets inside, but the rune chains also had a certain protective effect. As long as they were locked, it was difficult for the outside world to cause damage to them. Does this thing really exist? Li Yuanqing smiled at the old granny and promised, Elder, please rest assured. Our academy will definitely guarantee the safety of any student. Please rest assured and send your disciples to the academy. The old granny looked at Li Yuanqing in confusion. I'm very envious that you humans have such a big budget to build such an academy. In the past, our demon race's knowledge was too loose and we never thought of doing anything together. But why must he share it with us demons? If I can answer your question, will you send all your disciples to the academy? Li Wanqing nudda legally. If Senior is willing to answer this old servant's doubts, then this old servant will naturally be willing to send all of my disciples there. Including Hu Qian? Including Hu Qian. The old man probably doesn't know that there is a higher dimension world in this greater world. If he wanted to ascend to that piece of land, he had to have extremely powerful strength in the lower realm. How could he resist the heavenly Tao of the upper realm with his own strength? Could it be the legendary immortal world? However, that was only a legend. No one had ever seen the immortal world. Li Yuanqing didn't comment on this and continued. If we people from the lower realm want to break through the heavenly Tao, we must work together to advance together. Only then will there be a chance. This is also why I want the demon race to come to the academy together. I hope that the old man will be satisfied with this answer. The old granny looked at Li Yuanqing's face for a long time before she finally nodded slowly. Young master has such boldness. This old servant is ashamed of his inferiority. You humans are magnanimous so we naturally won't be so timid. Then what do you mean? In a few days, one will naturally send Xiao Qian and the others to the academy. Thank you, old man. This old servant should be the one thanking young master. In the past, the monster race treated the human race like this, but young master was still able to accept us monster race. I'm already satisfied with getting the elder's approval. What about the juniors? Let's do as young master says. We should have abandoned all the red tape from before. Let the children decide for themselves. Ha ha ha. Li Yuanqing smiled as he pulled Hu Qin over. 
The two boys also tactfully walked in front of Li Yuanqing. I see that Xiao Qian is very intelligent. If she can learn formations with Xiao Man, she will have a bright future. Hu Jujio covered his mouth and said to the Fox Clan, Xiao Man is our Grand Tutor. Xiao Qian being able to study formations with the Grand Tutor is her great fortune. What? Thank you for your help, young master. In the extreme north, there was a world of ice. A few eggshell-shaped shields suddenly appeared in the vast snowstorm. They stood on a protruding glacier tip and looked at the vast plain in front of them. Wow, why is this place so big? How long do we have to walk to the end? This was the first time Hu Qian had seen such a scene. After Li Yuanqing was done with the matters in Ping City, he set off for Thuli. He wanted to find the Black Dragon's factory that White Brow had mentioned. On the way, he also brought the little guy along. Although he was the master, he had indeed taken less care of the two kids recently. As for Hu Qian, she was close to the two of them. In addition, she was smart and Li Yuanqing liked her, so he brought her along. Master, where is the factory you mentioned? Li Yunqing had already briefly introduced that place to the few of them. The few of them naturally did not understand the meaning of the so-called immortal world. However, if a place could make Li Yuanqing so interested, it must be a very, very powerful place. Master, are there really so many spirit stones in that factory? Lu Wen raised his head and looked at the pale yellow light screen that enveloped them. The air in this extremely cold place was extremely cold. If it was an ordinary person, they would probably be frozen into a popsicle in just a second. They had Li Yuanqing's protection, so they did not have to worry. They could still be active here, just like in Pingcheng. There was no difference at all. Although Hu Qin's family was not considered a top family in the past, they were still considered to be in the upper middle of Pingcheng. Although they had declined, they still had a certain amount of experience. However, not many people had ever seen a few hundred thousand middle-grade spirit stones. The three little fellows yearned for the legendary place that Li Yuanqing had mentioned. However, Lu Wan and the other two had gone to see some things. They had always lived in Li Yuanqing's domain. They had seen those treasures piled up into mountains, but they had never thought about the value of their things. If all the treasures were converted into spirit stones, these hundreds of thousands of middle-grade spirit stones would probably be just a fraction. However, they naturally did not know about this. I plan to use these spirit stones for the academy's expenses. It should be enough to cover a few years' expenses. Lu Wen looked at Li Yuanqing curiously and asked, Master, I can see that you've done your best for the academy, but the people in the past were all eager to hide their things in their chest, afraid that others would see them. Master, why are you so generous in letting others take everything for free? Li Yuanqing patted Lu Wen's head and said earnestly, If you want to become a true leader, don't be too calculative. The overall strength is the true strength. Individual strength is not of much use. But master, even among the humans, they kill each other. As far as one know, the humans are probably even more ruthless to their own people. Luwen had always been brooding over these things. Don't be calculative. Li Yuanqing did not say anything more. After the four of them left the glacier, they continued to move forward. Under Li Yuanqing's protection, they moved very quickly. The scenery outside turned into a stream of light that flew past them. White streams of light flew past him, as if he was in a gorgeous passageway, dazzling him. The glacier world was very large, covering thousands of kilometers. Even with Li Yuanqing's strength, he had to search for a long time before he finally searched the entire land. Unfortunately, even though Li Yuanqing and the others had searched all these places, they still did not find the so-called factory. Master, are we in the wrong place? I don't see anything up here. It seems very clean. Yang Tianqi had been following Li Yuanqing's gaze and searching carefully below, but he still did not find the legendary factory. If there really was such a huge factory, it should be very obvious. However, Li Yuanqing had been searching for a long time, but he still could not find the legendary factory. It seemed that this matter could only be dropped. The four of them landed on the glacier. Li Yuanqing stretched out his index finger and drew a circle under his feet on the ice. The three young men stood beside the eggshell and watched carefully. They didn't know what their master was doing. After drawing the circle perfectly, Li Yuanqing seemed to be quite satisfied and silently took a step back. 
After Li Yuanqing retreated, the circle that originally had only a white scratch slowly began to emit white smoke. The line of the circle seemed to have a very high temperature. It kept burning the ice beside it, and the ice began to melt. The ice that was hundreds of feet thick was forcefully melted into a medium-sized circle by a line. All of this happened in a very short period of time. The three young men stared at the small circle with wide eyes. It gradually melted such a thick glacier and finally formed a circular hole. There was warm water flowing slowly below. Master, what is this move? It looks very powerful. I want to learn this. Yang Tianqi looked at Lu Wen helplessly and said, Look at your ignorant appearance. This thing is not some special technique. As long as you have enough spiritual power, condense your spiritual power sufficiently and then carve it on this ice surface. The spiritual power will be continuously consumed and slowly fall. In the end, it will have this effect. Lu Wen had thought that it was amazing just now, but after hearing Yang Tianqi's words, he suddenly felt that he was a little embarrassed. He said stubbornly, You make it sound so easy. If you have the ability, come and try. Let's see if you can melt all the ice that is hundreds of feet thick with this thread. Of course I can't. Master's internal strength is deep, so he can do this. How can I compare to Master? While the two children were bickering, a large bubble suddenly appeared at the place where the water was originally steaming. The big bubble rolled, and finally, a half-human, half-fish demon emerged from the bottom. This demon stretched out half of its body from the steaming hot water. Who is it? The demon leaped out of the warm water and landed on the ice. He held a trident in his hand and looked at Li Yuanqing while panting. You called me up, right? This person looked at Li Yuanqing in front of him in bewilderment. This kid's strength was very strong, and he couldn't even figure it out. He didn't know where this guy came from. Li Yuanqing didn't say anything and asked him directly, came here to find the legendary spirit stone factory. Do you know where the black dragon has placed the factory? The demon looked at Li Yuanqing's face in confusion. Although this guy looked quite scary, he was just a young kid. What right did he have to be so arrogant? He even said that he was looking for the black dragon's factory. Was that place a place that a human kid like him could set foot in? Brat, one don't care where you got this news from, but you've wasted your time coming here. I advise you to leave this place as soon as possible. Otherwise, if Lord Black Dragon finds out, you won't be able to bear the consequences. So, you know where the factory is. I'll give you a chance to tell me as soon as possible. Don't force me to use force. What? The demon could not believe that Li Yuanqing had actually said such a thing. Were these humans rebelling against the heavens now? I think you're tired of living. You lowly humans are only worthy of being slaves. How dare you talk shamelessly to me here? He turned around and saw that there was a little fox among the people. The demon fox clansmen were following behind them as if nothing had happened. They did not look like their masters at all. So it's you. But your demon fox clan only has this much strength, and you still want to encroach on the black dragon's treasure land. I think you're very muddle-headed. He thought that the ones who were going to attack this time were the people of the demon fox clan. He actually did not hear about the earth-shattering changes in the outside world at all. Luwin was very puzzled. He looked at every word that this guy said. It was so strange, as if he was an old guy who hadn't left the mountain for decades. Sir, do you understand the situation? There are no demons outside now. How dare you be so arrogant? The man's expression changed. He glared at Luwin and scolded. How dare you, human? I'm talking to your master. Who are you to interrupt? Your demon fox clan actually wants to have evil thoughts. Why did only such a little girl come? Li Yuanqing looked at this guy helplessly. This guy had too much nonsense. Noisy. After saying that, he raised his hand. The murloc felt as if a heavy shackle had suddenly been placed on his body. The shackles were firmly binding him, like countless large iron chains, tying him up bit by bit, making him unable to move. What are you doing? What are you? This merman had not expected what he had gotten himself into. He was still clamoring. He had actually been controlled by a human to such a state. This was truly a great humiliation. I'm warning you humans, if you don't let go of me, Lord Black Dragon will definitely not let you off. Lewin couldn't help but look at this guy helplessly and say, I say, big brother, 
How long has it been since you went out? The outside world has changed a long time ago. And that black dragon you mentioned, do you know that the black dragon is so scared that it has run away? How can it help you? Nonsense, you humans are indeed not of our race. Your hearts must be different. I shouldn't have left you humans behind back then. Now, you're indeed raising a tiger to invite trouble. Li Yuanqing was infuriated by this stupid guy. He exerted a little strength in his hand. And this guy was immediately strangled by the throat, unable to speak. It's still my question. Where is the Black Dragon's factory? If you say that I can let you live, but if you don't say it, your little life will be gone. I believe you understand what I'm talking about. Li Yuanqing once again slowly let go of the man, who hurriedly took a deep breath and looked at Li Yuanqing in bewilderment. You will definitely get your retribution. Lord Black Dragon will not let you off. So much nonsense. Then I'll go find it myself. Li Yuanqing exerted a little strength in his hand, and the merman's entire body twisted extremely. His neck suddenly became as thick as a thumb, and his entire head turned blackish purple. The blood all over his body was tightly restrained. He could no longer breathe the air of this world, and it was even impossible for him to survive. A few seconds later, the mermaid's body went completely limp. The blood in his body froze and he couldn't move. He was frozen into an ice sculpture. The trident in his hand fell onto the ice with a clang, and his body was casually thrown here by Li Yuanqing. Master, I didn't expect that there would be a demon here who doesn't even know what's going on outside. He's still here expressing his loyalty to that black dragon. Li Yuanqing was also very surprised. There were so many secrets hidden under this huge glacier. They had been searching for so long, but could not find the factory. Could it be hidden under this glacier? After the time for half an incense stick to burn, the original four people had disappeared. Instead, they had become four strange-looking demons. The upper half of the leader was a strong human body, and the lower half was a fat fishtail. His appearance and appearance were exactly the same as the guy on the ground. Lu Wen turned into a shrimp soldier with a shrimp shell on his head, while Yang Tianqi carried a thick crab shell on his back. As for Hu Qian, she had turned into a jellyfish with a transparent shell that was flickering with a faint fluorescent light. The three children had never come into contact with such a powerful shape-shifting spell before. This time, they had transformed into this form and were all teasing each other. All right, stop fooling around. Master is still talking. After Li Yuanqing finished his work, he instructed the three of them. The three of you should not talk much later. This should be one of their palaces. After you enter, try to find the factory first. It was best not to care about other things. There was no need to disturb these demons since they lived here. Yes, master. We understand. Also, after you go down to the surface, you have to use your own strength to keep warm. We can't do this anymore. The group descended into the water through the tunnel and looked forward. They didn't expect that they were standing in the middle of the iceberg. Further ahead, there was an even deeper glacier that pierced deeper into the sea. Beneath their feet was a magnificent palace. In the center of the pitch-black deep sea, it flickered with dazzling light, attracting the fish and prawns, and they kept surging into the palace. The four of them followed the footsteps of the fish and prawns and slowly surrounded the palace. In a short time, they arrived at the periphery of the magnificent palace. This palace was more than 10 kilometers long. At the highest point of the palace was a rod that reached the sky. A bright pearl was embedded on the top of the rod, and most of the light was emitted from the pearl. Just the light emitted by this pearl illuminated the entire palace. This luminous pearl was really a rare thing. In front of a passageway outside the palace, there were some half-human and half-demon fellows. These fellows were all small demons. They held invitations in their hands and even brought generous congratulatory gifts. They were waiting outside and queuing up to enter the palace. Master, what happened here? It looked like someone was getting married. So many little demons came with gifts. I think the people in this dragon palace are really good at looting. Hu Qian could see the gifts in their hands and knew what they were going to do. Lu Wen covered his mouth and laughed. That was the demon race in the past. It has nothing to do with the current demon race. Hu Qian's answer was neither servile nor overbearing, which made Lu Wen secretly eat it up. Lu Wen originally wanted to be proud of himself, 
but he didn't expect her to not take it to heart at all. Liu Wen coughed lightly and said self-mockingly, That's true. Ping City now pays attention to the integration of demons and humans. Only the demons sealed under the glacier still abide by these rules. Holding the trident, Li Yuanqing and the other kids came to the entrance. At the entrance, two shrimp soldiers were holding spears and checking the invitation cards one by one. You can go in. Where's the invitation? He looked up and saw Li Yunqing's muscular body. Wasn't this the company leader they had just left? Captain, why have you been here for so long? What happened upstairs? Who dropped that thing just now? Li Yuanqing stared at him coldly and said, Don't ask what you shouldn't ask. Captain, I'm sorry. I was talking too much. I was just casually asking Captain just now. Hurry up and get out of the way. Don't be a hindrance. Captain, please come in. One didn't see you just now. One definitely didn't mean it. Li Yuanqing led the three people behind him and swaggered into the palace. The two shrimp soldiers looked at the three guys behind them with a puzzled look. Just now, they didn't take anyone with them when they went up there. Why did they come back with so many people? However, although they had doubts in their hearts, they did not dare to ask. If they were not careful, the company leader would scold them again. Who would dare to say anything more? Li Yunqing led the three little fellows along the corridor of the palace. After going around in countless circles, they finally heard the noise. The architectural style here was very similar to that of the human race, but there weren't so many corners. Most of them were irregular circles with some curves. In these small courtyards, there were some huge demons. They revealed their true forms and floated in the courtyard to rest. As Lu Wan and the other two walked over, they looked at the incomparably huge demon beasts along the way. All of them were amazed. They had never seen such a huge demon beast in their lives. It was too satisfying to look at. Is this a shark? There was actually such a long shark. Wasn't this head too big? As soon as the three of them spoke, the sleeping giant shark slowly opened one of its eyes and stared at the three of them, carefully scanning the surroundings. However, after scanning around, he did not find anything unusual about them. Everything was normal. The shark let out a cold snort. After warning them, it slowly floated up and swam towards the center of the palace. Those fish and shrimps outside the palace also slowly moved towards the center. They gathered on the top of the pearl and circled around it. Under the strong light, these transparent marine creatures refracted the light beautifully like a prism. It was really unexpected that there was such a beautiful scene in the deep sea. This place is so beautiful. One wonder where such a big luminous pearl came from. It's said that the seabed is rich in pearls. All the pearls in the outside world basically came out from the seabed, so it's not strange to see such a big pearl here. It would be great if we could bring this pearl back and put it in the middle of Pingcheng. As they walked, they slowly approached the deepest part of the palace. All the demons were gathered here. On the periphery were some little demons with no background. They were there to join in the fun and drink some strange wine brewed from the bottom of the sea. The alcohol content of the wine at the bottom of the sea was very low. After drinking it, there was only a faint smell of alcohol, and it was not even easy to detect. However, they were enjoying themselves. After drinking, they felt that their bodies seemed to have changed color. The scene was very interesting. Li Yuanqing walked in front. The three little fellows had gotten a few jugs of wine from somewhere. They gathered together and carefully poured the wine into their mouths as they walked. Although the alcohol content was not very high, it was very interesting to drink. Suddenly, Li Yuanqing, who was walking in front, stopped in his tracks. Inside is a place you can enter. The two half-human, half-fish demons guarding the door took out tridents and blocked Li Yuanqing's path. Li Yuanqing smiled slightly and retreated to the side with the three little fellows. He did not force his way in. However, the walls here were built very casually. One could casually find a place outside and take a look at the scene inside. At the center of the palace was a very spacious hall. It was built in a golden and resplendent manner. At the center of the hall was the root of the stone pillar that supported the sky. At the highest point of the hall, on the main seat, sat a demon man with scales all over his body and a long beard. This guy had a flat mouth and thick eyes that were the size of green beans. His nose was flat on his cheek, 
and his entire face looked very funny. The demi-human man blinked twice and put down the container in his hand. He slowly looked at the two demi-humans kneeling below. The two demons had fur on their bodies. They were clearly creatures from land. What are you two trying to do by coming here and saying all this? My lord, the outside world has already turned upside down. The human race has now completely controlled the entire continent. If my lord did not take precautions earlier, I'm afraid that the human race would have attacked here sooner or later. The guy who looked like a large catfish smiled coldly and looked at his demon friends beside him in disbelief. If it's those humans, one don't believe that they can do anything to me in the northernmost land. Then let them come over. In any case, let them have their wish. As they spoke, they looked at each other and laughed. They actually did not feel anything about the human race subverting the demon race's regime. The two demons below also realized this. The two of them had originally wanted to come here to report the news and get a job. At least there was a place to take them in. However, they did not expect that these adults were completely indifferent to the outside world. The two of them came here and met with a rebuff, making them unhappy. If you ask me, today is a joyous day for the palace master, so we should just throw those unpleasant things aside. Why did you have to pick today to report such an unpleasant matter? The two of you are really ignorant. A slender female demon with an enchanting figure said with a high-pitched voice. When the two demons heard this, they were immediately scared out of their wits. They hurriedly knelt on the ground and kowtowed. Sir, please spare our lives. The two of us did not do this on purpose. It's just that the outside world has really changed drastically. The two of us wanted to come and inform you. We definitely have no intention of offending you. The catfish with scales waved his hand impatiently and looked at the two of them. Forget it. One don't think the two of you have any intentions. Let's end this matter here. Since the two of you can't mingle outside anymore, this king can give you some official positions. Thank you, great king. Thank you, great king. Go down. This king's bride will be here soon. So don't be a wet blanket here. Thank you for your help, great king. We will leave now. The two of them hurriedly retreated and carefully left through the small door. After they left, someone brought the two of them to a region at the back of the outer perimeter. So it's this catfish that wants to marry a wife. This guy doesn't look young anymore. His scales have turned white, and he still wants to marry a wife. Luwen looked at the situation inside and could not help but mutter. Yang Tianchi glared at him and warned, Cut the crap! The catfish spirit seemed to have heard their conversation and immediately glanced to the side vigilantly, but did not find any movement. Li Yunqing had already enveloped the few of them in a faint layer of light. The few of them seemed to have disappeared from this space. Great King, what happened? Why did one hear someone talking just now? Your Majesty is being paranoid. There's no one talking here. Your Majesty must be wrong. Is that so? Why did she feel so paranoid recently? Your Majesty, don't worry too much. The princess will be here soon. Your Majesty, you should be happy. Today's happy day can't be ruined by others. Yes, it's my wedding day today. I believe Mayu will make my palace even more beautiful. Your Majesty is blessed to be able to marry a person like Princess Mayu. If the entire demon realm is really as they said, and the power of the demon race outside has declined, then won't the future be your world? Your Majesty, Unify the demon realm. Your majesty, unify the demon realm. The people below echoed, waving flags and shouting. Their cries made the catfish spirit very happy. The catfish spirit smiled proudly and reached out to suppress their cheers. She said very modestly, We are just working for Lord Black Dragon. Whoever can unify the demon realm will be the Black Dragon. Lord Black Dragon has the final say. Let's not talk about these useless things here. Let's think about how to help Lord Black Dragon regroup. It's just a pity that it's not convenient for Lord Black Dragon to show his face now. He has indeed encountered some trouble recently, which caused the factories there to stop operating. Under normal circumstances, the humans would not have been able to act so arrogantly. The catfish spirit nodded and said helplessly, Didn't expect these humans to be so smart. They took advantage of the time when Lord Black Dragon was seeking a breakthrough to subvert those idiots. However, it's also good. We can let Lord Black Dragon see clearly who's useful and who's useless. 
In the future, we can move around more and don't have to constantly guard this freezing northernmost land. Your majesty is wise. They were chatting and laughing here. They did not take the matter of the demon race being subverted seriously at all. Instead, they treated it as an excellent opportunity for them. Luwin could not help but laugh out loud. The catfish spirit became nervous again and struck out at the empty space. The water wave carried a powerful force and passed through the gap. It only stopped after breaking a stone tablet. What's wrong with the king? No, I keep feeling that there are humans in the palace. Could it be that those humans have infiltrated this place? That's impossible. No matter how powerful those humans are, they can't possibly pass through the ice that's a thousand feet thick and enter the palace. The king is probably too anxious. Since the two little demons have come here, are those humans also targeting us? The catfish spirit was quite vigilant. Just now, he had only sent out a palm to test the waters. There was nothing there, so he was slightly relieved. Fortunately, Li Yuanqing had moved away in time and left the area empty. They were not discovered. Seeing that the fellow was about to reach the crucial part, Li Yuanqing did not want to be exposed so early. The catfish spirit's two mustaches moved slightly in the water, and his small eyes were narrowed to a small da. No matter what, we can't just sit by and watch. After the wedding banquet, we'll send a team to Sea City Base to take a look. As the golden armored catfish was talking to his subordinate, he suddenly felt a strange smell in the hall. He looked around vigilantly. Suddenly, a large hand reached out from the void and arrived in front of him in an instant. The hand had appeared so abruptly that he had no time to defend himself. Save the emperor. Everyone in the hall was in a mess. In front of the catfish spirit, a group of four people had appeared. The leader was very tall, half human, half fish, followed by three shrimp soldiers and crab generals. The few of them were actually so bold to dare to rashly barge into this hall. How dare you? You must have lost your minds to dare to touch your king. Behind him, the demon carrying a huge green turtle shell charged forward with half a staff in hand. Li Yuanqing swept his gaze over and a ray of light shot out, landing on the turtle demon. The green-furred turtle that rushed up let out a miserable cry and was sent flying by someone. It crashed heavily into the coral wall behind it. How dare you? Little ones, attack! This green-furred turtle seemed to have quite a lot of power. After being beaten up, he flew into a rage out of humiliation. As he howled, he called a group of kids and they swarmed in from all directions. These shrimp soldiers and crab generals came from all directions like a tide. Li Yuanqing was not afraid of this situation at all. His two eyes stared straight into the catfish spirit's eyes, causing the catfish spirit to sweat all over. The catfish spirit was still waiting for his group of shrimp soldiers and crab generals to take down Li Yuanqing. However, he never expected that those weak demons could not even get within five meters of Li Yuanqing. Hundreds of demons gathered around Li Yuanqing. There was a layer of pale yellow barrier that completely isolated them. What are you waiting for? Hurry up and save the king. The green-furred turtle finally recovered and barely managed to stand up by supporting the coral that had been smashed to the side. However, no matter how much he shouted, it was useless. The little monsters behind him were still pouring in endlessly, squeezing the people in front of him onto the shield. The catfish spirit saw that the situation was not right and immediately put on a fawning expression. Who exactly are you? We have no grudges in the past and no grudges in the present. If you want anything, just tell this king. As long as this king can take it out, I will definitely give it to you. I think you know what one want. Li Yuanqing said ambiguously to him. The catfish spirit's cheeks were pinched and all her strength was sealed. The disguise on the demon in front of him slowly faded and he turned into a handsome human youth. Only then did the catfish realize that it had fallen into the hands of a human. When the two demons came to report just now, he even boasted shamelessly that he would not fall into the enemy's hands no matter what. However, he did not expect that after such a short while, his face would be slapped so hard. Li Yuanqing saw that this fellow's attitude of admitting his mistake was still good, so he eased up a little and casually threw it on the table. I heard you mention the black dragon earlier. You seem to have a good relationship with it. The catfish demon's small eyes rolled and she hurriedly explained, 
My lord, please understand. This lowly one doesn't know any black dragon. This lowly one has been guarding this glacier for generations, but I've heard of Lord Black Dragon's name before, but I'm not familiar with him. Is that so? Li Yuanqing's expression changed, scaring the catfish. From what I heard just now, you still want to be the number one general under the Black Dragon. My lord must have heard wrongly? With this little strength of mine, what can one do? Behind Li Yuanqing, Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi also removed their disguises. Master, don't talk so much nonsense with him. This guy definitely knows where the factory is. Lu Wen took out his heavy sword and dragged it on the ground as he walked towards the catfish spirit. Li Yuanqing didn't care about him. He just stood there and watched quietly. What's your name? Every step Lu Wen took was like stepping on the heart of the monster, scaring him out of his wits. The catfish didn't dare to be negligent and immediately reported. My name is Golden Armored Catfish. People outside call me Golden Armored King. So it's the Golden Armor King. Lu Wen had already walked up to him and slowly bent down. My master was talking to you just now, but you didn't seem to understand. The Golden Armored Catfish hurriedly raised its hands to block in front of it and said with a smile, Little brother, what are you talking about? I was listening attentively to what the Lord said just now. I didn't dare to be negligent at all. Is that so? Of course, this lowly one only knows so much. You said you don't know Black Dragon? Little brother, you really know how to joke? Lord Black Dragon is a legendary figure. I'm just a small fry. How could I know him? Why are you still protecting the Black Dragon at a time like this? Do you know that the Black Dragon has already been sent home by my master? When Lu Wen spoke, his eyes were still on the golden armored catfish's eyes. This guy clearly had a hint of contempt. Master doesn't need to do anything. I can end you. Little brother, don't be anxious. Although this palace of mine isn't very wealthy, there are some treasures. You can take whatever you want. Yang Tianqi went up and pulled Lu Wan. Stop talking nonsense. Hurry up and get Master to come. A black figure appeared out of thin air. The person was tied up tightly, revealing only a blurry face. However, the aura on his body was abnormally clear. The golden AR armored catfish's expression changed the moment this person appeared. This person's aura was his Lord Black Dragon. Lord Black Dragon? He looked at the situation in front of him in disbelief. The Black Dragon was like a doll in the hands of this kid in front of him. Li Yuanqing's cold voice sounded again. Take us to the factory. The golden armored catfish gulped heavily. What else could he say when Lord Black Dragon's true body was here? However, who exactly was this human? Why was he able to control Lord Black Dragon? Sir, don't panic. One foot eleven inches bring you to the factory now. The golden armored catfish seemed to have completely obeyed Li Yuanqing's arrangements. It treated Li Yuanqing and the others as distinguished guests dismissed its subordinates, and respectfully led everyone out of the palace. They headed north. The further north they went, the lower the underwater world was. It was very dark down there. The golden armored catfish and Prime Minister Turtle were swimming carefully in front of them. They would turn their heads to look behind them from time to time. My lord, may first know where you came from? I heard that the human race has already taken control of the situation in the world above the continent. It should be related to sir. Why are you talking so much nonsense? Can you even ask where my master comes from? Lu Wen went up and kicked the golden armored catfish's butt. The catfish swam two steps forward, but Lu Wen was forced back a long distance. This little brother has a bad temper. How far is it? The golden armored catfish did not dare to neglect Li Yuanqing's words. My lord, he hurriedly replied. There are still more than 300 miles to the factory. Why is it so far away? Catfish smiled and said, Sir, you don't know. Sir Black Dragon is a cautious person. He specially built this factory in the northernmost land, in the deepest trench. We still have to descend dozens of kilometers. Hurry up and leave. Don't waste any more time. This one understands. This way, sir. The golden armored catfish still wanted to talk to Li Yuanqing, but Li Yuanqing was very cold to him and didn't want to talk to him at all. After his attempt to get close was destroyed, he could only continue swimming forward. After another hundred miles, 
the bottom of the sea was already pitch black. There were only a few glowing creatures resting in the cracks of the rocks. The temperature here is extremely low, but it is accompanied by the pressure of the high. Lu Wan and the others could not take it anymore. Li Yuan Qing kept the three of them into his domain. He had wanted to let the three little fellows increase their endurance, but if they went any further, they might really not be able to hold on. The golden armored catfish took advantage of this opportunity to widen the distance between the two sides. Prime Minister Turtle, go and see Darren. The Prime Minister Turtle looked at the golden armored catfish with an unwilling expression and a pleading look. The king glared at him fiercely, scaring the Prime Minister Turtle so much that he didn't dare to touch it again. Go and watch over Darren. The golden armored catfish's warning forced Prime Minister Turtle to retreat. Li Yuanqing stopped and looked at Prime Minister Turtle. My lord. Prime Minister Turtle said timidly, The king. He, he asked me to stay here with Darren. Is that so? I, I'll help you lead the way. Li Yuanqing looked forward and saw that only the tail of the golden armored catfish was still in sight. Why is your king walking so fast? His majesty is afraid that he will delay Darren's matters. Are you trying to escape? How is that possible? Prime Minister Turtle was so scared that his forehead was covered in sweat and his beard was trembling. Your Majesty, you didn't think of escaping. That's good. Let's continue walking. Li Yuanqing looked at the Prime Minister Turtle meaningfully, and the look in his eyes made the Prime Minister Turtle brood. All right, sir, come here. They continued to swim deeper into the trench. The tail of the golden armored catfish in front of them was faintly discernible, as if it would disappear at any time. Prime Minister Turtle looked at the gradually fading tail and felt anxious. After another fifty miles, Prime Minister Turtle suddenly pointed at a hole on the side and said, My lord, there is a treasury of the icing there. The king instructed me to bring some treasures for my lord to hold. You guys go first, I'll be right back. After saying that, he wanted to swim towards the black hole. Even though he tried his best to remain calm, his body was still trembling violently. Li Yuanqing looked at Prime Minister Turtle's back with interest, not caring about the golden light spots that were about to disappear. Yang Tianqi watched as the golden armored catfish's figure gradually disappeared into the distance. He hurriedly asked, Master, the big catfish in front has already disappeared. Should we hurry up and follow? Li Wanqing Smilat. Why should we follow him? That guy has already run away. What is it? Wasn't he always leading the way? The three little fellows did not realize that the person leading the way had run away. Let's go. Let's see where our Prime Minister Turtle is going. Li Yuanqing waved his sleeves, and the three of them disappeared in place. Prime Minister Turtle had restrained himself at first, but when he was about to reach the hole, he couldn't suppress the urge in his heart and hurriedly crawled into the hole. After he entered, he stuck his head out and looked back to see that Li Yuanqing and the others had disappeared. Why are you walking so fast? Prime Minister Turtle felt that it was a little strange. Those guys were so fast that they disappeared in a short while. However, all of this was no longer important. He had finally gotten rid of these guys. Just now, the king took advantage of Li Yuanqing's lack of defense and used a golden cicada to escape. He had successfully fooled these guys. However, he had put him in such a dangerous situation. Prime Minister Turtle thought proudly. Fortunately, he was smart enough to successfully play a little trick and escape. Imph, these humans are really brainless. No wonder they are treated as slaves. Most humans were not used to living underwater, let alone in this bitter and cold land. Those humans with low cultivation levels could not survive here at all. In the past, they had bought some human slaves, but all of them died and could not reproduce. Just as Prime Minister Turtle was feeling smug, he turned around and bumped into someone. Li Yuanqing silently looked at the Prime Minister Turtle, who thought himself clever. Prime Minister, where are you going? Ah? Prime Minister Turtle was shocked. Didn't the Prime Minister say that there was a treasure vault here, and that he wanted to bring something? Yes, the treasure vault is in the small passage ahead. It might be inconvenient for you to move, so I'll go and take it. It's quite convenient for us to move around. Why don't we go together? this? What's wrong? The Prime Minister seemed a little reluctant. Darren, what are you saying? 
I'll take you there now. Prime Minister Turtle complained in his heart, and his skin changed color because of his nervousness. He walked in front and slowly led the few of them in the passage, turning left and right, but they could not turn out. Finally, when they reached an intersection, Li Yuanqing grabbed him. I think we've walked this intersection several times. I think we should go this way. Sir, what are you talking about? This underwater world is complicated and has similarities. This way. Li Yuanqing's eyes were so deep and terrifying, as if he wanted to swallow the Prime Minister Turtle alive. The old turtle trembled as it turned around and walked down the passage. Soon, everyone appeared in a small hall. There was a very simple and crude teleportation array in this small house. Other than that, there was nothing else. What is this? My lord, this teleportation array has long been broken. Is that so? Li Yuanqing threw out an array disc and it landed on the array. The small array immediately lit up. In a corner deep in the sea, a very remote small teleportation array was lit up by someone. The light flashed, and a group of five people appeared in this small room. The Prime Minister Turtle was being held by the neck by Li Yuanqing. He looked at this powerful figure with fear. Run for your life? My lord, you have misunderstood. One have never thought of escaping. Did I misunderstand? No. It's this little one who has caused the adults to misunderstand. Humph. Li Yuanqing snorted and threw the Prime Minister Turtle to the ground. This is the factory, right? The two of you have brought me around for so long. In fact, we can reach it early through the teleportation array. Prime Minister Turtle knelt on the ground and begged, Lord, please spare this lowly one's life. This lowly one was forced to do this. It was all that golden armored catfish that forced me to do this. If one didn't bring my lord here to stroll around, he would have shattered my heart. When Prime Minister Turtle begged for mercy, he cried so sincerely that Li Yuanqing didn't have the mood to argue with him. He brought his two disciples and Hu Qian out of the small house. This was a small house like this in a teleportation base. There were several other houses in other places. There seemed to be more than ten of them. Although most of these teleportation arrays were abandoned, one could still see the glory of this place. Master, shouldn't this factory be particularly prosperous? Why did he look so down and out now? Hu Qian answered Yang Tianqi's question first. In the past, the entire demon realm had a large number of spirit stones that could be collected. This place should be at its peak, which is why there are so many teleportation arrays. However, things were different now. The spiritual power of the demon world had gradually shrunk, and there were not that many spirit stones. Then, since we're here, don't tell me we won't get any benefits? Hu Qin's eyes widened as she looked at Li Yuanqing's back. She smiled and said, Your master has come all the way here. He will definitely be able to find something. That's true. Yang Tianqi scratched his head shyly. He didn't expect his master to come all the way here for nothing. Li Yuanqing listened to the conversation between the two little fellows and could not help but laugh out loud. It seems that you two still have to learn more from Xiao Qian. This cleverness is very useful for living. Master! Yang Tianqi lowered his head and turned to look at Xiao Qian. Xiao Qian was really smart. She could think through everything very clearly. At this moment, there was suddenly some movement in front of them, and their footsteps slowly slowed down. Why are you so slow? Hurry up and put all these spirit stones into your storage bags. If you're any slower, you'll all die here. The golden armored catfish angrily cursed at its subordinates. He was in a dire situation now, with such a powerful figure chasing after him. If he didn't move quickly, Prime Minister Turtle wouldn't be able to drag it out for so long. If he was caught by that human again, he would not have a good time. A bunch of useless things. You can't even store these few spirit stones properly. What's the use of having you? As the cleansing shell catfish spoke, it opened its big bag and kept moving spirit stones into it. Because the ore was too thin recently, most of the ore's mind were some ores with a lot of impurities. There were two small hills here. They used those very low-end storage bags as transportation tools. They had to use a lot every time, and it was especially difficult to store them. Even though the golden armored catfish had come down together, only one of the two mountains had been moved. There was still another spirit stone mountain standing there. 
The golden armored catfish used all his strength to collect the spirit stones there. He and our team immediately sent out 100 people. If we had known earlier, we wouldn't have sent so many people away. There were only five or six people left to watch over the place. Their speed was too slow. Li Yuanqing stood at the exit. With a wave of his hand, a barrier appeared and hid the figures of the few people. Even though the golden armored catfish was domineering, it was just an existence like an ant in front of Li Yuanqing. At this moment, Li Yuanqing's concealment technique directly covered the few of them tightly, not letting out any aura. Just like that, they walked to the back of the golden armored catfish and stood silently behind him, watching him collect the spirit stones. The Prime Minister Turtle followed Li Yuanqing with a trembling body. He really wanted to open his mouth to remind the former king, but he was afraid that he would immediately lose his life if he opened his mouth. Unexpectedly, Li Yuanqing seemed to have heard his voice and suddenly turned his head, revealing a smiling face as he said, It's okay. If you want to talk, just say it. Sir, please spare my life. One don't dare to say anything. Prime Minister Turtle fell to his knees and begged for mercy. From now on, I will be your lackey. I will do whatever the adults ask me to do. I definitely won't dare to have any thoughts. He was shouting very happily inside. But the golden armored catfish outside seemed to have not heard anything. It was still shouting and ordering its subordinates to clean up the spirit stone mine. Can't you guys stay with your pets? How long will I have to wait for you guys? Li Yuanqing also said, What's the rush? After all, he would still have to stay here after packing up. There was no need to keep it so carefully. Under their watchful eyes, the crystal armored catfish quickly used up all the storage bags they had brought. The two spirit stone mines that were originally as big as mountains were now only left with two large empty spaces. The golden armored catfish finally let out a long sigh of relief. He looked outside with lingering fear. There was no movement outside at the moment. Li Yuanqing should not have followed him. Humph! He put away all the storage bags and piled them into a pile. You're just a mere human, and you still want to fight me? Don't think that I'll fall for your little tricks. Lord Black Dragon had a long life. How could a puny human humiliate him? Every word he said fell into Li Yuanqing's ears, and even Prime Minister Turtle was terrified for him. Great King! The golden armored catfish looked at these guys, and its eyes moved slightly. I've brought you guys along quite well, haven't one? The king has left us here to take care of us brothers. Naturally, his kindness is as heavy as a mountain. The golden armored catfish nodded slightly. That's good. Since you know how much I've done for you, I'm content. There are two huge rocks outside the door. Block the entrance and don't let outsiders in. Everyone, don't worry. Us brothers will do it right away. After the demons stopped, they ran out of the deep pit. This was a very large pit, surrounded by a mountain rock. They dug out another deep pit from the ground and built this spirit stone conversion factory that took up a very large area. Just as those demons ran forward, the golden armored catfish slowly took out its golden trident. He followed behind these people and slowly transformed into his huge body. His upper body tore through his clothes, revealing his scale-covered skin. This strange-looking catfish suddenly grew to a height of 100 feet. The demons felt the pressure behind them and could not help but turn around. They immediately saw their king's fierce appearance. King! The golden armored catfish raised the trident in its hand high up and looked at them fiercely. There's no other way. That human is really too powerful. He will find out everything from you. You must die. Great King, we are all loyal to Great King and are willing to follow Great King forever. We will never betray Great King. With your speed, you'll only be a burden if you follow me. Be my servant in your next life. Before the armored catfish could finish its sentence, the trident in its hand had already stabbed towards the group of people. The tip of the trident flickered with a dazzling golden light. The huge pressure pressed down on these small fries making them unable to breathe. Stop! At this moment, a voice suddenly sounded like a bolt of lightning, hitting the golden armored catfish's chest. The catfish seemed to have lost all its strength when it heard the sound. The flickering trident also lost its light, and its huge body suddenly leaked air and withered. 
In a short while, the arrogant catfish king had returned to its original height. He looked to his side in shock. Li Yuanqing had already stood on his face at some point in time, but he actually did not notice it at all. Big, big, my lord. The golden armored catfish was so scared that it stuttered. Its legs went weak and it knelt on the ground. Looking at Prime Minister Turtle standing behind Li Yunqing, it seemed like Old Turtle had betrayed him. However, Prime Minister Turtle was helpless. He turned his head sideways with fear and trepidation as he looked at his former king. You've cleaned up quite neatly. This way, I don't have to go through the trouble. The golden armored catfish's lips trembled slightly. It didn't expect that it had been busy here for so long. It thought that what it had done was hidden, but in the end, it was all for the benefit of others. Of course, if you like them, you can take them all. I prepared them all for you. I saw that you guys weren't here yet, so I prepared them first. Is that so? Then you're quite loyal. Of course. I am wholeheartedly thinking for my lord. I have absolutely no selfish motives. The golden armored catfish thought that it had caught a life-saving straw. It hugged Li Yuanqing's thigh and licked its lips with a smile as it said excitedly. Li Yuanqing smiled and looked at the trembling little monsters in front of him. Well, is there anything you want to do? Sir, these little monsters were so scared that they had fainted. From now on, this factory belongs to the human race. I want to keep the few of you here as your salary. If you have any requests, feel free to say them now. The little monsters had sharp eyes. When they heard this, they immediately knew that this was their chance. They scrambled to Li Yuanqing and shouted fawningly, My lord, this lowly one is willing to serve my lord. I don't have any requests. As long as my lord is willing to keep me by your side and not kill me, it's enough. That's right. As long as you can save my life, I'm willing. Luwen looked at this bunch of insensible fellows and couldn't help but go up and remind them, You guys, my master asked you to make requests, not to show your loyalty. One remember that you should have an enemy, right? Lu Wen's gaze cleverly turned to the golden armored catfish. Those little monsters didn't understand what he meant. The few of them slowly surrounded the golden armored catfish in the middle. What are you doing? I'm warning you. I'm your king. You're not allowed to do anything rash. The golden armored catfish tried to escape in a panic, but all its directions were blocked by people. If you dare to take another step forward, Believe it or not, one foot eleven inches eat all of you. Just you little monsters aren't enough to fill the gaps between my teeth. The little demons were also worried about them and looked at Li Yuanqing carefully. Lu Wen went up and kicked the golden armored catfish in the face, causing the once glorious king to fall to the ground. With this leader, it would be much easier to deal with the subordinates. The remaining little demons were usually bullied by their king every day. If it wasn't for the king's tyrannical strength that could suppress them, these people would have long stood up and rebelled. At this point, this former king had become a down-and-out guy. He did not even have any power in his hands. The crowd squeezed the golden-armored catfish out of sight. He could only hear the pitiful cries of mercy from inside. The cries were repeated over and over again, and the voices gradually weakened. Bring us there. Li Yunqing patted Prime Minister Turtle, who was standing behind him, and this gave the latter a fright. The Prime Minister Turtle didn't dare to delay and immediately led Li Yuanqing to the high ground, where the conversion room was located. As long as you put the spirit stone into this pool, the spirit stone will be melted by the high temperature of this pool. In the end, the dense spiritual energy would flow down the pipe beside it. The cooling below would produce the purest spirit stones. Although this method could not improve the quality of the spirit stones, the spirit stones produced were still considered top-grade among low-grade spirit stones. Then where did the celestial spiritual energy come from? Sir, are you talking about the spirit stones of the immortal world? The ores in this pool only needed a small immortal spirit stone to be mixed in, and it could be completely transformed into immortal spirit stones. Although the concentration was completely incomparable, it could be taken away by Lord Black Dragon. Where did you send the converted spirit stones to the Black Dragon? This? The Prime Minister Turtle's two green bean-sized eyes rolled around, not knowing whether to say it or not. Think carefully, whose hands are you in now? At the bottom of the spirit stone mountain, 
there was an abandoned mine. Li Yuanqing followed Prime Minister Turtle into the depths of the mine. Young master, you may not know this, but the deep sea mine was once a rather famous spirit mine. After the spirit energy inside was exhausted, it was completely abandoned. Lord Black Dragon, Prime Minister Turtle's small eyes darted around, and he immediately changed the way he addressed him. The Black Dragon felt that this place was very well hidden. Moreover, there were important soldiers guarding the top. Generally speaking, it would be very difficult to leak the information, so he set up a formation here. Before long, they arrived in front of a black wall. The track under his feet extended to the bottom of the black wall, as if this was the end of the road. This black wall isolated Li Yuanqing's divine sense. Li Yuanqing wanted to investigate the situation inside, but his divine sense was mercilessly blocked. What happened? Prime Minister Turtle had been waiting carefully at the side. Young master, we've only been here at most. Even the king has never been inside. Only Lord Black Dragon can go inside. How can we small fries know? Lu Wen went up and grabbed Prime Minister Turtle's mustache, pulling him to the front and staring at him for a while. Prime Minister Turtle's mustache was in pain from being pulled, but he didn't dare to resist and could only smile. Little Lord, I... Lu Wen stared at his face for a while before he let go. You wouldn't dare to lie. Little Lord, what are you talking about? How would one dare to lie to you? Master, do we still keep this person? When Prime Minister Turtle heard these words, he quivered and carefully moved in front of Li Yuanqing. Young Master, I know the bottom of the sea like the back of my hand. If Young Master doesn't mind, you can keep me by your side. Moreover, with my lowly life, even if I kill you, it will dirty your hands. Lu Wen rolled up his sleeves and walked up to Prime Minister Turtle, licking his lips as he looked at him. Since I can't dirty Master's hands, then I'll do it. Forget it. He's still useful in the future. Yes, Master. Gui Cheng looked like he had just survived a disaster. He was trembling with fear. With a thud, he knelt on the ground and shouted, Thank you, young Master. Li Yuanqing stood in front of the wall, silently sizing up the black stone wall. The material of this stone was the same as the black stones he had discovered. It was also in or produced in the demon realm. This kind of stone was very good at isolating people's divine sense. Even with his strength, if he could not enter, he would not be able to spy on the scene inside. If this entire wall is made of black stone, then how did the spirit stones that you processed enter? Prime Minister Turtle hurried forward. Young Master, we were ordered to put the spirit stones in those boxes. When we get here, the boxes will naturally pass through the wall. Is that so? I'm telling the truth. I definitely don't dare to hide anything. Li Yuanqing squatted down curiously and looked at the place where the track disappeared. He stretched out his hand, but before he could touch the black wall, he immediately felt a force pushing him out. There's a formation? Li Yuanqing was surprised to find that there was a small array covering the place where the track disappeared. It was like a tunnel that might have existed here, completely covering it. It was just that this array was very advanced. Although it should not be complicated, it should have used some higher level methods. He took out a set of array plates and casually placed them. The array plates and a few small flags were inserted into the semicircular area very evenly. Li Wanqing Chanta. As his voice grew louder and louder, the small flags below gradually became brighter, until the brightness became blinding and covered the entire scene inside. His highest brightness only lasted for an instant before the light gradually dimmed and everything returned to normal. However, there was a one meter wide square gap below the black stone wall, just enough for the thing on the track to pass through. It's actually like this? Prime Minister Turtle had been here all his life and would occasionally come here with the king, but he had never understood the mysteries behind it. He did not expect to be lucky enough to see it today. Young Master is really a god. He actually has such ability. Lu Wen looked at the Prime Minister Turtle in disdain. My master has so many abilities. Why would he need you to suck up to him? Prime Minister Turtle bitterly smiled and said, This lowly one has eyes but failed to see through young master's heaven-defying abilities. I have offended you just now, but if you need this lowly one in the future, 
this lowly one will not hesitate to go up a mountain of knives or plunge into a pot of oil. Enough. Stop being so talkative with this master. You have nothing to do with him anymore. I'm warning you. Don't try to play any tricks. Young master, this. Prime Minister Turtle looked at Li Yuanqing, hoping that he could make him stay. Li Yuanqing said to him directly, He's right. You have nothing to do here. You can go out first. Don't let anyone in. Yes, sir. The Prime Minister Turtle's flattery failed, and he retreated in disappointment. In the abandoned mine, only the four of them were left. Hu Qian was squatting at the entrance of the cave, carefully looking inside. Sir, it's pitch black here. I can't see anything. Could there be some powerful demons inside? Yang Tianqi also came over and squatted beside Hu Qian. He carefully extended a hand into the darkness. What are you doing? Xiao Qian immediately pulled his hand back. Let me see what's inside. Why are you so silly? If there was a very powerful demon inside, it would come up and bite off your hand. Yang Tianqi scratched his head and smiled. It's all right. Master is here. No matter how powerful the demonic beast is, we won't be afraid. The two of them were talking and laughing when the scene in front of them suddenly changed. The three of them reappeared in Li Yuanqing's domain space, a world of birds and flowers. They looked around curiously. They were clearly still in the abandoned mine just a moment ago. In the blink of an eye, they had been taken in by Li Yuanqing. There are many dangers inside. The three of you wait here for me. Cultivate well and don't neglect. Yes, master. In the mine, Li Yuanqing's figure flashed and he had already passed through the black curtain and arrived at the other side of the cave. This place was much brighter than the mine just now, for head-sized luminous pearls were embedded in the cracks of the rocks on the ceiling, illuminating the entire cave. There was only one entrance and exit, and that was the black hole behind him. There was no other way in or out. Even the nearby rock walls had been reinforced and covered with dense texts. There were also many array disks embedded in them. Most of these formations were used to consolidate the shielding effect. If he wanted to spy on the situation inside from the outside, it was probably impossible. This black dragon had arranged this place so tightly that it was hiding this small array under Li Yuanqing's feet. The patterns on the array were not complicated. It looked like a simple summoning array. In a corner of the array, a place where the spirit stones were originally placed was now missing a hole. Li Yuanqing placed the spirit stone in it, and a bright light came from under his feet. It was as if the entire space was filled with gas. Li Yuanqing felt that his feet were floating, and his body slowly rose up. At this moment, a golden frame appeared at the center of the array. Li Yuanqing stared at the golden frame. This scene was somewhat familiar to him. After a while, the golden frame finally revealed its full appearance. It was a golden door. This golden door was exactly the same as the one he saw on the Golden Light River. If the golden gates in those two places were used to connect to the immortal world, then it must be the same here. Li Yuanqing looked at the golden door nervously. He was not sure if those people in the immortal world could directly sense his existence through the passageway between the two. After all, the immortal world was a higher level plane. The people there should be very powerful perhaps even more powerful than the strongest person he could imagine. If those powerful people discovered his existence, what would they do? Li Yuanqing took out the key and stood nervously in front of the Golden Gate. He had experienced this many times before. A light flashed in his hand, and a small wooden figure appeared there. That was his wood spirit clone. The place they passed through was different every time they entered the door. What was behind this door? Li Yuanqing couldn't take the risk of going there himself, but his wood spirit clone could go there on his behalf. With a flash of light, the scene in front of Li Yuanqing gradually became clear. The wood spirit doppelganger transformed into his appearance and slowly appeared in a dark and damp cave. This place was no different from the lower realm. They all used fluorite to provide light. The fluorite on the wall flickered with a warm and dull light. It was not dazzling and could clearly see everything around it. He slowly walked out of the array. There were many large boxes placed beside him, as well as all kinds of random things piled together. There were many magical artifacts of the human race, and there were also many valuable things inside. However, these magical artifacts might not be very attractive to Li Yuanqing. However, 
there were quite a number of unique materials that attracted Li Yuanqing. Most of them were materials from the bodies of demons. There was a huge spine that was shining with golden light. It seemed to have been taken from a flood dragon. To be able to refine a bone into a golden color, it would take at least thousands of years. There was also the armor woven from bird feathers. This armor was still a finished product, but when it was worn, it felt as light as a swallow, as if it had disappeared from this space. That light feeling was really fascinating. Li Yuanqing kept all of these treasures without any hesitation. He didn't expect to find a warehouse in the middle of his search. If he didn't guess wrong, this warehouse must belong to the Black Dragon. When he thought about how this was the protection of the Black Dragon, Li Yuanqing became even more ruthless. The Black Dragon had oppressed the human race for so many years and emptied his entire treasure vault. It was not a loss at all. Li Yuanqing used both his hands and feet to move those rare treasures that could not be seen in the lower realm into his domain one by one. This Black Dragon had also collected a lot of demon cores. They could obtain each other's strength by devouring demon cores. These things were all rare things. Li Yuanqing had only randomly picked a few, and the weakest of them was at the peak of the Array Formation Realm. There were even many second and third level Supreme Realm experts. This kind of demon core could be refined into high-grade medicinal pills after taking it back. In a short while, he had plundered dozens of demon cores. This was the Black Dragon's lifetime savings, and Li Yuanqing had taken them all. Just as Li Yuanqing was happily moving, he suddenly felt a wave of fluctuations coming from outside. Someone was coming. This Azure Dragon, you must force me to death. Outside the treasure vault, the Black Dragon gritted his teeth and cursed. I told him that I didn't get anything, but he still had to dig out such a piece of meat from my mouth. This guy really doesn't have any morals. Black Dragon didn't seem to be in a good mood today. He opened his treasure vault and walked in indignantly. He took a box that had been prepared long ago. He was about to leave when he suddenly felt a strange feeling. He looked strangely at the depths of his treasure vault. There were all his most precious treasures inside. But now he felt a little strange. He first put the box into his storage bag and slowly walked inside. He finally realized why he felt that something was wrong. The demon cores on the shelf were the ones he was most proud of. He had put in a lot of effort to collect these demon cores. They were all very important things. He would definitely be able to see them if he placed them in the most eye-catching place. When he entered, he immediately felt that something was wrong. It turned out that the place was empty. There was nothing. He walked up to the shelf and was so shocked that he couldn't close his mouth. The dozens of demon cores that he was most proud of were all gone in an instant. Who did it? The black dragon roared angrily, and its roar shook the entire treasury. At the entrance of the treasure vault, there was a very illusory figure. It was ingeniously integrated with the surrounding environment. There was no aura emitted from his body. The wood spirit clone was very flexible. He slowly leaned against the wall and came to the exit. While the black dragon was angry, he quietly slipped out. As soon as he lifted his foot, the black dragon behind him turned into a tornado and swept out of the treasure vault. The black dragon's gust of wind directly blew out of the passage. No one is allowed to leave. As the black dragon roared, the protective array formation of his cave abode instantly activated and enveloped the entire cave abode. On the other side, the golden gate closed. What Li Yuanqing didn't expect was that the restrictive spell was so strong that the wood spirit clone couldn't return through the normal route. Even though the two of them were still connected mentally, if he used such a method to come back, not only would the wood spirit clone be severely injured, but he would also be able to escape. Moreover, he would not be able to keep any of the treasures he had painstakingly collected. He had finally discovered the newest characteristic of the wood spirit clone, and he planned to make use of it to take advantage of it. The wood spirit clone he had used in the past was too shallow. It could even suppress its own strength to the minimum, sticking to the wall like air. Coupled with its powerful camouflage ability, outsiders could not see anything wrong with it. Just like when the black dragon had left the passage, she did not notice that Li Yuanqing was quietly watching her from the other corner. However, the black dragon had sealed the cave abode. Li Yuanqing could only stay here until he released the restriction or found a weakness in the restriction and destroyed it. 
In the front hail of the Black Dragon Cave abode, a green-robed man with two horns on his head was sitting leisurely. The Black Dragon suddenly appeared, bringing with it a berserk power as it stopped in front of the green-skinned man. The man didn't panic. He continued drinking his tea without looking at the Black Dragon. Black Dragon, you have too many excuses. One don't know what excuse he's coming up with now to seal his cave abode. Are you not going to let me go? The Black Dragon's anger had not subsided, but when faced with this man in front of him, he had no choice but to restrain his temper. Azure Dragon, we owe each other a debt of gratitude. My manor has suffered a great calamity, and now it is the time when we have suffered heavy losses. Do you think you should be magnanimous and leave for today? Be magnanimous? As if he had heard the funniest joke in the world, Lord Green Dragon looked at the Black Dragon in confusion. White Brow left with you, but he didn't come back. Only you know where he went. The two of you are always together, and he destroyed my magic ring to such a state. Do you dare to say that you don't know anything about it? Azure Dragon, how many times do you want me to tell you? The two of us only got together recently and have some cooperation. However, White Brow has a very strange personality. One can't always clean up his mess for him. Azure Dragon Shang Jun revealed a disdainful expression as he sized up Black Dragon. Your words are so righteous that I'm embarrassed to ask you for that treasure again. It was originally like this. Today, my cave abode was abandoned by a thief. One have to catch this thief, or else one won't be able to swallow this anger. When the Azure Dragon Lord heard him say this, he laughed even more happily. Are you saying that your treasure vault was stolen by a thief? Azure Dragon, I'm not joking with you. I've really been stolen. The treasure vault has been swept clean by someone. I have to go and get back all my treasures. Black Dragon, why didn't one see it before? You can actually play so many tricks? When did I scheme for you? Everything I said is true, not a single word is false. Do you want me to bring you to the back to take a look? Exalted Monarch Green Dragon took out a token and slammed it on the table. His smiling face immediately darkened. Don't think I don't know. He stood up and placed the token in front of Black Dragon. When I want to find White Brow last time, I left something on him. That guy is now in your demon world and refuses to come back no matter what. How long can he hide? White Brow's matter has nothing to do with me. He's hiding in a human city and I can't do anything to him. Are you kidding me? Azure Dragon looked at Black Dragon in disbelief. You've already taken care of those humans in the lower realm and used them as slaves. Now you're telling me that White Brow is hiding in a human city. Do you think I'm a fool? The Black Dragon stood there with his face flushed red. He could not say a word now. He could only say that he had brought this upon himself. However, his things had been stolen by someone. Now, he did not know where the thief had run off to. He had to find him as soon as possible. Believe it or not. One can smell the sin of that thief. He must still be in the cave. If you want to stay here, then stay here. I want to find that little thief first. A figure flashed behind them. Li Yuanqing took advantage of the time when the two of them were quarreling just now to move a lot further. At this moment, the two of them stopped for the time being. They seemed to have noticed something strange, and Li Yuanqing did not dare to move anymore. The Azure Dragon Lord looked at where Li Yuanqing was standing in puzzlement. He had clearly felt that the light here seemed to have moved slightly. Are you unwilling to give me that dragon tendon today? Azure Dragon, unless you kill me today, you can forget about taking anything away from me. Just as Azure Dragon was about to flare up, he suddenly felt that the wall at the corner of his eye seemed to move again. His eyes moved slightly as if he had understood something. He looked at the exit of the passage again. I'm not an unreasonable person. Since you said that you were stolen, then I'll take what you said is true. I can leave today, but you have to give me that dragon tendon sooner or later. The black dragon looked at Azure Dragon in puzzlement. When did this guy become so kind? He was already prepared to fall out with him just now. In any case, this was his cave abode. Even if they fell out, he still had some advantage. However, he did not expect this fellow to be so easy to talk to today. Let's talk about that later. One owe you a favor. Anyway, one don't need this dragon tendon now, so it's not like I can't give it to you. Lord Green Dragon raised his head and laughed loudly. It was unknown when his temper had become so good. Forget it, forget it. 
seeing that the two of us are from the same clan, I won't argue with you today and let you live. The Green Dragon Lord said as he walked out of the room. It seemed like he really didn't want to argue with the other party. The Black Dragon was a little confused by his elegant back. When did this guy become such a magnanimous person? In the past, this guy would never stop until he achieved his goal. He had already chased her all the way to the door today, but she was actually able to leave so casually. It was really impressive. When Lord Azure Dragon walked to the side of the aisle, he glanced to the side intentionally or unintentionally. Li Yuanqing felt that this guy didn't notice his change. He carefully moved to his side and followed him along the edge of the wall. The Azure Dragon God seemed to be deliberately controlling his pace. His walking speed was not fast, allowing Li Yuanqing to easily control his aura and follow him. The Black Dragon didn't go out to see him off. It waited until General Azure Dragon walked to the edge of the array before opening a small opening for him to leave. When Jun Yin saw this, he opened the door and did not rush out. Instead, he turned around and walked past Li Yuanqing, shouting into the cave. Black Dragon, one don't care if you take back your stupid things in the future. I must get my hands on the dragon tendon. The impatient voice of the black dragon came from the cave. Don't worry. As long as I pass this stage, I'll definitely give it to you. One hope you know your place. You and I are of the same race. There is no need to hurt our relationship because of these small things. We are of the same clan. We are of the same clan. When you are in trouble, we will attack you the most severely. Regarding Black Dragon's complaints, the Azure Dragon did not have much to say. He just smiled casually and glanced at the aisle behind him. Just as he was giving the Black Dragon his final instructions, Li Yuanqing slipped out of the open passageway. Am I still pretty clever? The Azure Dragon muttered to himself and left without looking back. After he left, the passage was shut down and the Black Dragon's cave was completely sealed. After Li Yuanqing left the Black Dragon Cave abode, he ran down the mountain. The forest here was very tall. Nourished by the celestial spiritual energy, the trees grew to over 10,000 feet tall. Even the bushes were like a sea, drowning people. Li Yuanqing had been through a lot in the bushes. He knew that there was another passage that could lead him back. He had to find that passage as soon as possible so that he could bring all these treasures back. Otherwise, his trip would be in vain. He was running very fast in the bushes when a figure suddenly appeared in front of him and blocked his way. Li Yuanqing immediately stopped and looked at Supreme Lord Azure Dragon, who had appeared in front of him, pretending as if nothing had happened. Senior, I still have some matters to attend to. One hopes Senior can help me. Li Yuanqing spoke very politely, like a junior. Azure Dragon looked at Li Yuanqing with a meaningful look. What are you busy doing? Who would want to find a place to sell the demon cores that they had just stolen? Li Yuanqing's expression stiffened. He had felt that this fellow seemed to have sensed something just now, and now it seemed that it was indeed the case. He stopped smiling and looked at the Azure Dragon silently. You and the Black Dragon are incompatible. There's no need for you to interfere in our matters, right? Azure Dragon nodded noncommittally. You're right. He and I are incompatible like fire and water. I don't like him at all. In that case, what I did should have nothing to do with you. Why are you still stopping me here? Azure Dragon couldn't help but laugh out loud. He looked at Li Yuanqing and said, Little fellow, where did you come from? Wasn't this obvious? You were able to steal something from his cave abode. I've helped you a lot. Li Yuanqing also knew that he was in the wrong. This fellow had indeed helped a lot just now, and it was not bad at all. However, he had never done business with the demons in the immortal world. What do you want? Azure Dragon raised three fingers. Li Wanking Fronat. You're too greedy. I went through so much trouble to steal it, and you want to give me 30%? Azure Dragon glared at him impatiently and said, Do you think you can get 70% with your little ability? I didn't say that you would keep 30% for yourself. Hand over the best thing honestly, and don't talk nonsense with me. You're bullying me. What do you mean by going too far? If it weren't for the fact that you're a human kid, you would have lost your life long ago. This is our territory. No matter how wide your human race's jurisdiction is, can you still manage this? Only then did Li Yuanqing notice the surrounding environment. A powerful demonic aura pervaded the surroundings, 
completely different from the place he had appeared last time. Last time, he could clearly sense a very powerful human aura there. If one give it to you, will you let me go? Azure Dragon smiled in satisfaction. That's right. You humans are all smart people. There's nothing wrong with being smart. Give me the thing honestly. One foot eleven inches put you back. Well, pretend that nothing happened. Li Yuanqing was hesitating when a strange expression suddenly flashed across his face. He lowered his head and pondered for a while. Suddenly, he raised his head and looked at the Azure Dragon. What's wrong? Have you finally thought it through? I've thought about it, but one have a condition. What other conditions do you have? I think Senior seems to be very interested in White Brow's whereabouts. You know where White Brow is? If I can tell Senior the whereabouts of White Brow, what benefits can one obtain? The Azure Dragon's expression stiffened as he looked at Li Yuanqing with his teeth clenched. He muttered, None of these humans are easy to deal with. If you can tell me the whereabouts of White Brow, then I will give you 20% more. This is too little. I think that Bai Wei has a lot of treasures on him. The things on him are much more valuable than what I have, right? What do you mean? The Azure Dragon looked at Li Yuanqing in disbelief. You bumped into me today. Don't tell me you still want to escape and scathed without paying a single spirit stone. Li Yuanqing smiled and said, Senior, you may have misunderstood. I don't intend to not pay a single spirit stone. What I mean is that if Senior can give me some benefits, I can bring Senior to find White Brow. What you mean is that you won't take out your things, and you want me to give them to you? Of course. Azure Dragon was so angry that he was about to explode from this arrogant human brat. However, this kid was actually so arrogant. He did not know what backing he had. Brat, if you want something, you can come with me. My cave is full of treasures. As long as you can tell me the whereabouts of White Brow, one will give you whatever you want. Although Azure Dragon said so, his brows were filled with killing intent. Li Yuanqing didn't say much and directly said, I'll come again. I hope you've thought it through by then. After he said that, his entire body suddenly disappeared without a trace, and that aura also disappeared completely. White Brow immediately pounced at the spot where Li Yuanqing had been standing, but he missed. This guy was clearly here just now. Why was he gone? Where did he go? Exalted Monarch Azure Dragon had already searched the mountainside several times. However, he could not find where Li Yuanqing had gone. That human strength was not very strong. He had clearly already fixed it, but how could it suddenly slip away without a trace? Azure Dragon Lord had chased Li Yuanqing's last chance to come here, but he couldn't find anything when he returned. There was still a trace of smell in the air. He had disappeared here, but where had he gone? He was puzzled by this matter. He had never seen such a powerful escape technique before. This human has actually cultivated to such a powerful realm? He looked around suspiciously. If those people were reading it, it would really be so powerful now. That kid should have already returned home and found the old man in charge. He might come looking for him later. Forget it, that kid doesn't know my background anyway. It's fine to let him find trouble with the black dragon. After searching around for no results, the Azure Dragon Lord could only give up resentfully. Even though that kid had many secrets, the human race was not to be trifled with. This was the border between the monster race and the human race. If he was caught by those old humans, he would be in deep trouble. Thinking about it, he decided to pretend that nothing had happened. It was the Black Dragon's loss anyway. And in the Demon Realm, above Golden Light Lake, Li Yuanqing calmly looked at the lake in front of him. Although it seemed that what happened just now had only happened in a short hour in the immortal world, it was still a long time ago. However, a day had passed in the lower realm. After Li Yunqing reacted, he immediately went to the other door, which was the Golden Light Lake. He didn't stop on the way and finally arrived at the Golden Light River at the right time. He also successfully opened the door to the immortal realm. After opening the door, the clone returned very smoothly. It even left that guy far behind. That person was probably still scratching his head behind. However, this kind of thing was indeed too exciting. If he was not careful, he was afraid that all his previous efforts would be wasted. Fortunately, such an accident did not happen. Li Yuanqing retracted his with spirit doppelganger 
and disappeared above the Golden Light River in a flash. He then turned around and returned to the domain space. Lu Wan and the other two were surrounding the newly appeared treasure, looking at it curiously. Li Yuan Qing had brought back hundreds of treasures this time. There were even many terrifying auras inside. The three little fellows could feel it even if they approached. A strong sense of oppression. Master! The moment the three of them saw Li Yuan Qing appear, they immediately came over. Master, why do these things look so scary? It's as if something is staring at us from inside. Yang Tianqi managed to control his emotions and not appear too weak. In front of such strength, they were just a bunch of small ants. Li Yuanqing patted his head and said, One day, all of you will possess such strength. Thank you, master. Li Yuanqing himself had not thought about it. He had only gone over to take over the abandoned site. However, he didn't expect that there would be an unexpected windfall. Moreover, this unexpected talent was too great. He had stolen more than half of the Black Dragon's savings. The Black Dragon was probably stomping around somewhere now. Master, why is this demon core so big and shining with golden light? This fellow must be at least a few hundred years old, right? Lu Wan was holding a monster core. Just the aura emitted by the monster core was very oppressive, making it difficult for people to breathe. Hu Qin stood at the side with a solemn expression. She looked at the demon core that was flickering with golden light and slowly said, This senior must have reached a very terrifying position when he was alive. This kind of strength is far from just a few hundred years of cultivation. Could it be a thousand-year-old monster? Lu Wen looked at Li Yuanqing in surprise. Master, we've earned a lot this time. A thousand-year-old demon core can easily be sold for tens of thousands of middle-grade spirit stones. Just this demon core alone is almost equivalent to the remaining ores in that venue. Why are we still wasting our energy there? This is the demon core of a golden-scaled python. This person's strength was unfathomable when he was alive. He must have been at least 10,000 years old. Li Yuanqing's words made Lu Wen's teeth chatter. In his entire life, he had never thought of anything that could live for more than 10,000 years. In fact, it could even be said that it could live for more than 1,000 years. This was already beyond his understanding. A demonic beast with a demonic core that was more than 10,000 years old. What price should he set? Master, are you kidding me? Li Yuanqing was sitting at the side, taking out his wood spirit clone. He noticed that every time the wood spirit clone returned from the immortal world, its aura would change subtly. It seemed to become stronger. But if it was just a small puppet, why did such a change happen? Li Yuanqing didn't know what kind of treasure this wood spirit clone was. At least, the number 36 that the white-browed Taoist was so proud of was on a completely different level compared to this guy. This time, he stayed there for a little longer. Perhaps it was because he was affected by the aura of the celestial realm, but Li Yuanqing felt that the wood spirit doppelganger had become more agile. Even though he was just lying there quietly, it was as if there was a human expression on his face. It was very natural and calm. Lu Wen wanted to ask more, but was stopped by Yang Tianqi. Master is thinking about it. They didn't dare to disturb Li Yuanqi. Lu Wen carefully placed the golden demon core the size of a head on the small bump. Oh my god, one didn't expect to have the chance to see a 10,000-year-old demon core in my life. Lu Wen said excitedly. However, when he turned around, the demon core was nowhere to be seen. Moreover, there was a small depression in the area. Just now, there were clearly a few bulging demon cores there, but now, a few of them were lost all at once. Just as Lu Wan was feeling puzzled, Yang Tianqi also noticed the change. He looked at Lu Wen's empty hands and asked unhappily, Where did you put the proud might? I put it on top of this. One saw it just now, but it suddenly disappeared. That's a 10,000-year-old demon core. How can you take it so casually? Yang Tianqi warned with a dark face. If Master finds out, you'll be in big trouble. Can you not slander me? Even if one did some dirty things in the past, it was because you guys had bad intentions. Why do you think I stole from you guys? It's because you guys were too greedy. Lu Wen couldn't hold it in anymore after being criticized by Yang Tianqi. The two of them had some conflicts before, and now they were even more resentful. Yang Tianqi's temper flooded up. He glared at him and said, 
What did you steal from me? I won't argue with you about that. It's just a small matter. However, this Io, O year old demon core, is no small matter. So what if you steal it? If you really use it on yourself, you will only harm yourself. What great benevolence! Lu Wen looked at Yang Tianqi with disdain and said sarcastically, Who doesn't know how to say such beautiful words? But now that the demon core is gone, you're blaming me instead of looking for it. What happened? Li Yuan Qing had suddenly appeared in front of the two of them. The two little fellows were already arguing until their faces were red. When they saw their master, their arrogance instantly withered. After all, Lu Wen was still a child. He couldn't help but feel aggrieved when he saw his master. His face drooped and his eyes turned red. Master, if you think one stole your 10,000-year demon core, then you can kill me and see if you can find that demon core from me. Master, why do one think that you stole the demon core? Because I was greedy and playful just now. I picked up the Io, oh year old demon core, and then it disappeared. Yang Tianqi also calmed down and looked at Lu Wen. As long as we investigate the matter, won't it be fine? How could master kill you? Can you not say these angry words? Li Wan King Fronat. He suddenly reached out his arm and pulled out a round figure from behind the little bump. The spirit boy was holding two demonic cores of different colors in his arms. His mouth was full of saliva, and his round belly was shining with a golden light. The little dot also forced its way out of Li Yuanqing's body and sat on Li Yuanqing's head, looking at the spirit child angrily. Because the spirit boy had swallowed such a huge golden core, his consciousness was a little blurry. He opened his mouth and looked at Li Yuanqing with a smile. He didn't realize the seriousness of the matter. Li Yuanqing looked at this kid helplessly. He hadn't noticed for a moment, but the spirit boy had seized the opportunity to swallow the Io, O year old demon core. It was just that although this guy's strength was not high, after swallowing such a 10,000 year old demon core, he actually did not immediately explode and die. This was a new thing. With this kid's strength, if he took a bite under normal circumstances, his entire body would explode. How could he swallow it whole? It was indeed extraordinary. Master, what should we do now? This is a Io, O year old demon core, a priceless treasure. Lu Wen looked at the spirit boy's round belly with heartache. This kid was too ruthless. He swallowed such a huge treasure just like that. He thought that if this demon core was given to him, he would not have to think about anything else in his life. He would probably be able to easily reach the array formation realm. This was only his imagination. Xiao Dian looked at Li Yuanqing unhappily, as if it was accusing Li Yuanqing of being biased. Li Yuanqing had no choice but to take out one from the pile of demon cores and give it to Xiao Dian. After little, got the demon pill. He was overjoyed and bowed to Li Yuanqing. He looked so cute. Li Yuanqing took back the two monster cores in the spirit boy's arms and sent him back with a backhand gesture. This guy was too greedy. He swallowed them all in one go. It was better to take good care of them first. He didn't want anything to happen. The three little fellows were dumbfounded when they saw Li Yuanqing's actions. That was a real Io, oh year old demon core. Li Yunqing didn't even raise his eyebrows and gave it to these two little guys. Each of them ate a big one. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi couldn't help but swallow their saliva. They envied the two little fellows and wished they were like them. Li Yunqing seemed to have seen through their thoughts. He smiled and said to them, The two of them are inextricably linked to the demon race, and their physiques are special. Even if they swallow these demon cores, they can still digest them. You guys better not think about these good things. First, obediently raise your cultivation. In the future, you won't be able to avoid benefits. Lu Wan and Yang Tianqi immediately got down on one knee. Thank you, master. As they were talking, the littled had also eaten the green demon core in their arms. It was clean and was burping while patting its belly. It lay in the pile of demon cores with a satisfied expression. Li Yuanqing didn't feel much heartache for these things. Anyway, they were all obtained from the black dragon. It was naturally best if they could be used. Right now, he did not have any plans to refine magic tools. There was no harm in giving the two little fellows some first. Moreover, as long as those two doors still existed, Li Yuanqing would have more chances to reach the black dragon's secret treasure vault in the future. 
Black Dragon would definitely collect more good things to replenish Li Yuanqing. Hu Qian stood next to Xiao Yin, staring blankly at a Yao core that was glowing with white light. The demon core was not eye-catching. Among such a pile of colorful demon cores, the color was very plain, and it was not big. However, its aura attracted Hu Qian deeply. Hu Qian was staring blankly at the demon core when a large hand suddenly appeared and picked up the demon core, placing it in front of her. Hu Qian's misty eyes slowly focused on Li Yuanqing's face. Master Li, I. Li Yuanqing put the demon core back in front of his eyes and examined it for a while. It's a white fox's demon core. It's about four to five thousand years old, and its quality is very good. Congratulations, Master Li. Congratulations, Master Li, for obtaining so many treasures. I believe that you will definitely be able to reach a higher level. You are a demon, and this demon core is of the same clan as you. It's just that your current cultivation is still too weak, so you can't completely refine it. Junior knows that Junior is too weak and is not strong enough to control this demon core. One was only attracted by its familiar aura just now. One don't have any other intentions. Hu Qian hurriedly lowered her head and explained. Li Yuanqing pondered for a while, then used three fingers of his left hand to hold the demonic core in front of him, while his right hand flipped the demonic core up and down. After a while, Li Yuanqing's hand movements slowly stopped. The demon core, which was originally the size of half a head, had actually become the size of an egg after Li Yuanqing's manipulation. Take it and keep it by your side. Master I, this is also my gift to you. The black dragon's long hair was scattered behind his back, and his aura was fluctuating. His eyes were bloodshot. Suddenly, his eyes stared at a corner on the left. A nail flew out of his hand and stabbed into the wall. The gecko who just passed by and the gecko who just moved his feet. Then he was struck by the disaster of the unexpected. The black dragon looked at the dead lizard and became even angrier. Who is it? He raised his head and roared, shaking the entire cave abode. He didn't understand how he could encounter a thief in such a tightly guarded cave abode. Moreover, that thief had actually searched his treasure vault clean, and it was even under his eyes. Before Azure Dragon came, he had specially checked the treasure vault. It was still fine. However, in the time it took to talk to Azure Dragon, his treasure vault had been plundered clean. There was nothing left. What exactly happened? The Black Dragon turned the entire cave abode upside down. He even activated his core ray formation in an attempt to find that fellow. He clearly felt that there was someone else in the cave abode. However, no matter how hard he tried, this place was empty. There was nothing. He returned to the treasury and came to a very remote corner. He waved his hand and a door immediately appeared. He took out a token and the door immediately opened. He stepped out of the deep sea. The wall array here had already been destroyed by someone. Someone had come. The black dragon instantly went up the tunnel and arrived at the exit of the underground world. Prime Minister Turtle was standing guard with a few guards. They were vigilantly watching the surroundings, carefully monitoring all the changes. The few of you better be smart. If you make Lord Lee unhappy, then we won't be able to bear the consequences. Don't be confused. Don't worry, Prime Minister. It's fine as long as you know how important this mission is. This is the first mission that Lordly has given us. To us, we can only succeed. A day ago, Prime Minister Turtle was still smiling at his golden armored catfish king. But now, he had become Li Yuanqing's loyal subordinate. After the black dragon followed him, it appeared in front of him in a flash. Prime Minister Turtle's vision blurred. Before he could recognize the scene in front of him, his eyes suddenly went black and he lost consciousness. His life was here. The rest of the guys weren't any better. The black dragon stretched out a hand and pressed it on Prime Minister Turtle's head. A small, shiny light ball was sucked out of his head. An image immediately appeared in front of the black dragon. It was the day before when Prime Minister Turtle and the others met Li Yuanqing. After the black dragon saw everything, it crushed the small ball of light. The cowardly Prime Minister Turtle vanished into thin air and never existed again. The Black Dragon's face was ashen. He looked at the darkness of the deep sea and gritted his teeth. Li Wanqing. You again. The timing of all of this made sense. It was that kid who stole all of his pills. 
Although he did not know where he got his ability from, it was all done by him. There was absolutely no mistake. The black dragon thought about it. This Li Yuanqing had ruined his plans time and time again. Now, he could still stay in the demon realm so leisurely. Wasn't this obvious that he wanted to chase away his former master? If this continued, there would probably be nothing left in the demon realm that he had managed for so many years. Even though he should endure it when facing a human, it was just a human junior. If he had to endure it like this when dealing with a human junior, he would completely lose face in the immortal world. The black dragon couldn't take it lying down. The more he thought about it, the angrier he became. He had let Li Yuanqing off many times before because he was afraid that the old man from the human race would stand up for him. However, it was different this time. The black dragon looked at the territory that was being occupied by others, and its heart became even more determined. The Sea of Death. This barren beach had been deserted for hundreds of years. Recently, people had come to visit it several times. It was really a rare thing. Grey Wolf and Wild Boar had never fought since they took over Li Yuanqing's job. Although they still looked a little unhappy with each other, they knew that this job was very important. Today, the two of them were hiding in the bushes as usual, leisurely tasting the remaining fruits. Speaking of the fruits that their master had left for them a few days ago, they had already eaten most of them. They did not know when their master would come back. They were all hoping that this human would quickly come back and bring them that delicious fruit. After eating those fruits, his strength had improved a lot. However, Li Yuanqing didn't come. Instead, they waited for another guest. The black dragon stood on the beach and was about to head into the sea of death when it suddenly felt two very special auras approaching from behind. He turned around and looked at the two fellows behind him who had ulterior motives. What do you do? Why did he come here? Who told you to come here?